It's been a bit. Where's where do I even have my pro controller? I guess I'm not playing with the pro controller. Oh no, it's right up here. <laughs> hey, welcome to Animal Crossing New Horizons. Awful game. I hate this game. I wanted to do some watering of flowers and rearranging of flowers and Rex wanted to leave, so I guess <laughs> I guess I I was gonna wait till I could document that on the stream, meaning uh I couldn't play my Switch for a little while. I was wa I think he wants to leave. What he says here makes me think he wants to leave. I was watching this movie all about going to new places, meeting new folks, and learning new stuff. <laughs> I've been standing there for many, many hours. And there goes another balloon. There's a balloon that was flying across as I was staring across at Rex for the first, like, 24 hours. But, uh, yeah, he's been... Dawn of the, the, the freaking... 10th to 12th day? I don't know how long it's been, but it's been a while! <laughs> I was watching this movie about going to new places, meeting new folks, and learning new stuff. If I went to a new place, I could meet new bugs, eat new snacks, and learn to be real cool. Oh my gosh, you already are real cool, but yeah, good luck out there. <laughs> well, I'm gonna miss hanging out with you. We had some real good times, Bloom. Oh yeah, I got a chance. Oh, by the way, new day. This was, uh... <laughs> a continuation of, uh, at least a week past. Um, a lot's changed in my Animal Crossing. I played this off stream, uh, a bit. And so, thank goodness Rex wanted to leave. That stopped me playing the game and allowed me to, like, hyper-focus on something else like Sute Hakun. And, uh, the thing about Majora's Mask and uh, what's it called? Mega Man Zero for a long time, but one of those games has been locked behind Rex. <laughs> so now my Switch is unlocked again. I can play video games <laughs> because it's been documented. He's moved down to who knows where, or at least he's probably in boxes now. Good evening, everyone. I'm here with a late night broadcast. Hope I can make it through right now and get me out. It's 2.24 a.m. on Saturday, June 27th, 2020. Now, for today's announcements, tomorrow Get Me Out bids a fond farewell to our dear friend Rex, who has been standing locked in conversation for several days on top of the cliffside uh, around the resident services, or not services, residential location of the town. It's been a real weird happening, but at least we, we're glad to see that he's alive, he's functioning, and so is uh, our idiot human resident human around the town, so it's hard to say goodbye, but we wish him luck on his next big adventure. Be sure to stop by for one last chat before he leaves. Maybe bring some tissues. I can do that. That's all for today. Have a fun day out there. She's also drinking, uh, whiskey. But she's probably drinking whiskey with an E, as opposed to my whiskey without an E. There is a difference. If you, oh, look at those, those awful turnips! I bought turnips. As you can see, when I buy turnips, I buy a lot of turnips. <laughs> I'm glad it's raining, because that, that means all my stuff is watered. I might as well keep... Oh, my pockets are full. I was doing... Again, I was doing flower stuff. I have that many green mums? I thought I had, like, three green mums by now. Oh, look at everything popping into place. I've already gotten ants off of them once, so I don't need spoiled turnips, but I do want to, like, have them as a reminder never to do turnips, because that's a bad prospect. Of course you're awake. Hello, Sylvia. Yo, Lollipop! When did, who gave you permission? I am beyond upset right now. So... The first person to give me a nickname was Sylvia. She decided to call me Rosebud. I'm like, that's pretty cool. I like that nickname. I'll take that. It makes me think of The Sims 1. Oh, my time with the cheat codes in that game. Rosebud. She has asked me time and time again after, uh, I think it was Daisy. Daisy's the one who was like, yo, can I call you Lollipop? I'm like, that works. And then at like three days later, I'm like, oh, LOL at the start. That makes sense. That's a really good nickname. But holy crap, did Sylvia think it was a good nickname. I'm like, 
We can't let Rosebud die. Please don't let Rosebud die. You must keep saying that. It pains me to tell you no, you can't say lollipop, but please don't do it. Now she's doing it, without my permission. Uh, this is why I don't play Animal Crossing. This is why I get hung up on these tiny things like this. Mostly, oh, bird brain. That's a good one. That's awesome. I haven't caught up with you in a while. No one's seen you in like weeks. Weeks plural. Weeks plural. I think it's been like less than two weeks, actually. Well, actually. So I don't need that <laughs> from you, Sylvia. <laughs> I love the way Joel talks about villagers getting on you for not playing the game. The way he describes it is beyond phenomenal and makes me happy. What were you doing? Don't tell me you were just face down in front of the TV all this time. Because I totally would have joined you. I appreciate that. But also, stop guilt tripping me. Let's look at flowers. Today is a flower stream. <laughs> Why am I trying to dig up stuff? I can't do that. Where do I need to put these green mumps? good flowers here. Oh, it's getting close to the new month. There's probably going to be new fish. I still haven't caught probably ever. Oh, dude, actually, just thinking about me streaming this game. This is going to be a, a bit of a hefty time, isn't it? Um, I have a lot of things to bring to Blathers. A lot of things. It's going to be a hefty stream. A new no 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 green mums here. My town is in disarray. I still need to fix up my radioactive waste pool next to Godzilla. So I had green mums right here. I thought I had like two or three of them, but apparently I have five of them, so I wanted to move them elsewhere, and I don't know where I'm moving them now. I probably had something in mind, but then Rex was like, ha ha, ha you, want, you want to do things with this game? Not today. Also, there's just stats in there. Nice. Oh, more yellow hyacinths. Or not yellow, orange. I can't say... Orange or yellow. I, I mean, I can. It's it's a struggle. I have to think about it for way too long in order to get the right color out of my mouth. I made a pond over here because I gosh dang don't have any ponds in my town now that everything has at least one uh, waterfall touching it. That's kind of rude, I think, that waterfalls will ruin your ponds. Even if the waterfall is leading into the pond area, it's still considered a river. That's kind of rude. Oh, and friend of mine, I had downloaded Friend. <laughs> but when I gave this game to a friend as I was playing like Saints Row as his, at his house, he was doing some crazy stuff and he, he put Friend by the picnic area and I appreciate that so much. I appreciate that so much. There's a rock that moved in here. That's a bad spot. Do not like that. Are you going to sing? No. It's weird seeing this again. All of this, this game, this this world that I created. Upcoming bug off t today, actually. I don't think I could do. I don't want to do that. Maybe I could probably do that off stream. I, I was thinking like, should I do that on stream? And I'm like, no, no, don't do that on stream. I don't want to play this game anymore. <laughs> I don't want to play this game anymore. I, I don't want to even do it off stream. Uh, but I kind of feel the obligation. I hate this video game. Is everyone excited for the big bug off? Mark Saturday, June twenty seventh on your calendar for the event. Hope to see you all. And a friend of mine drew this. Um, I I love it. It's great. <laughs> also, what happened whenever I was at his house and handed him oh gross white white mums. And I handed him switch and I'm like, do do whatever. And now look at this! I need to bring Blathers some stuff. Just a few things right here. That's a lot of that. Oof, oof. <laughs> oh, I hate it. I hate it. I really hate it. 
Ooh. So what I had going here was really nice. I had like a little pathway that was lined by weeds. And I tell you what, it looked amazing. Just this little pathway. Um, but weeds, they do this thing where they spread like none other. So you have to really take care of it. This is what happens when you don't take care of it. Oh, I hate it. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Video games. Oh, Gaston's playing with the ball. <laughs> it's Lollipop. I ain't spoken to you in a while, it seems. I was worried I'd done scared you off. Well, I don't know if you... I know you got your own affairs to attend to, so I'll let you get to it. Good to see you. Yeah, selling hardcore drugs today. <laughs> we got a flash sale on on the weed. Also, I, I want to one day get the uh, Nook Miles where I catch 100 fish in a row. But I'm not I'm not good at fishing. I used to be good at fishing. This is where I put friend. I put friend in front of the dog. Uh, I, <laughs> that's his house. Little friend house. Um, what was I saying? Oh, in uh, Animal Crossing New Leaf, I actually got really good at fishing, but I think all of my skills that I had for anything ever... Oh, <laughs> I'm so sad! I wanted to give Rex a Goliath Beetle, and now he's leaving. Ah! I couldn't give it to him. So you're wondering why he's just sitting out here and why I didn't give it to him. I haven't turned it into Blathers, and if you try to give him a Goliath Beetle when you haven't give one to Blathers. He's like, you should give it to Blathers. And I try to give it to him again. And he's like, that's awesome. I love it. You should give it to Blathers. He doesn't take the gift until there's at least one in the museum. I love that. I love that. But I hate that. Time for you get me out to really kick out this drug sales. Yeah, I got a, that after having a streak broken at 95 fish. That's what's going to happen to me. Except... I so far haven't even gotten to the point of having 50 fish. Well, actually, I got 50 fish on the other file, but on this file, let me look at my Nook Miles. I have stuff that I'm proud of, like Rough Hewn. I've chopped 5,000 5, wood. Easy. I could chop wood. I, I mean, give me an axe, and I'm, I'm about to go ham. It's, I love chopping wood, but, uh... Castmaster, 10. I've gotten 39. That's my best. My best is 39. <laughs> I suck. It's... I'll never get 39 again also, so... That's something. Daniel's online. What? So really now, we're... Oh, more... more uh, Orange roses. Awesome. I've changed up a lot, as you may... Oh, all of my trees. Oh, 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 Time to get stung. I haven't done this in forever. Where you at? Where you at? I didn't realize he was that close. Hold up. I didn't realize he was that close. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a second. Oof, 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 oof. He don't like me. I didn't realize he was that close. <laughs> I thought he went way far down. I wanted to catch him before he went in the water. Um... <laughs> I, I, I have zero eyeballs. Oh, also, before we change, I, I want to... My stream, I'm just realizing, is really bad because I was playing this on a different TV that has a really bad screen region. Where do I change the screen region? Ah, that's better. That's better. Now back to our daily average dose of uh, stress. Oh, boy! <laughs> I lost the urge to keep farming Nook Miles have over 140,000 of them. That's a lot of Nook Miles. I liked getting Nook Miles through the special stuff, the these things down here. Sometimes, I mean, if I'm about to be active, I might as well like try to get some of this stuff done, but for the most part, this is the stuff that I really like to get um, achieved. And I'm, I'm not good at, like, half of them. But I'm good at rough hewn. <laughs> I can chop a tree. So, do I accept this or do I... I, I mean, I gotta accept it. I, I can't not accept it. I was gonna say, I could always... Uh, t 
helicopter home, but no. I earned this. This is... This is my hubris. <laughs> but at least I have my house down here now, instead of where it used to be. Now over there is just a big hole. <laughs> I, I, I will not explain further. There's just a big hole there now. <laughs> Which is excellent. It's too late. I, I don't... Actually, I should put this away. I've already suffered the consequences. It sucks. Also, I, I've been wondering, if I have, like, so many weeds like this, does that ruin my score? <laughs> Back to drown itself. Absolutely. I hate when they do that. The worst. Great diner wall. I like the diner wall, but I also hate it. I mean, I don't hate it. Oof, my house looks awful now, but apparently got an S rank for the amount of rooms I have because I started using my diner room as like a storage room and it's awful. <gasps> I need to pay off my house. I could do that now. I could get more storage. Weird. This is crazy. I, 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 it's been weird. I haven't played this game on stream in a long time because things went down and I haven't had the time to really play, but I, it helped me during uh, my non-streaming days, but it didn't allow me to play any other freaking game because it's Animal Crossing and it's so intrusive. Let's talk Island Evals. It's still a five star, even with weeds! Even with weeds! That's thrilling! I don't think I need to clean up those weeds. <laughs> I think I can leave them. So I didn't mean to get five star. I accidentally got three star. Uh, I went from three star to four star. It took me forever to get from two star to three star. But then like it took me like uh, half a week to get to like four star from three star. And I'm like, ah, I might as well get five star and go back to three star. But it gave me the ability to freaking make paths, and I went ham on that. I love it. I love path making in this game. It's really good. I don't think I have this one yet. Let's go. Any other good stuff? I love the seven ball, too, uh, of course, because it's brown, but it's a good one. It took me about like a week uh, of placing fences and because gosh dang she's like hey town's looking great I just need more items to be thrown around like nothing else like just freaking litter our island with items and fences I'm like I don't want to do that she's like do it and she pulled a gun to my head I'm like all right okay fine I can trash our town I will do that that's no problem I thought it was going to take me a lot longer, because I haven't really touched the west side of my island, but I somehow got it anyway? A lot of people do struggle with that, and I guess, like, I didn't struggle only because I have, like, no storage to put stuff in my house, so I do put stuff... In fact, I think half of the reason why I have a 5-star is those fish and bugs that I was showing you guys. Those fish and bugs have impressed Isabel to none of... just the end of the world. She's like, yo... I love it. As long as, like, they're in a line like that and not, like, clumped in a square, that's fantastic. It's awful. Uh, yeah. Whoa! I have over a million? How did that happen? When did, when, how did I get money? It's been a while since I played this game. Uh, from savings, please. We did it, boys! To be fair, or to be honest, the cardboard boxes you sent me through to the under construction area of your island. That's what I got you. Nice! I appreciate the cardboard boxes doing their, their good work. They're very powerful items. And now back inside. Because I need to be talked to at. Or be talked at, too. I need to be talked at. Also, playing this game again is making me sad because I gosh dang wanna wanna play Terra Enigma now that I'm hearing uh, that Krista theme. Thank you once again for your diligent repaying of your home. 
A payment of your home. Yes, yes. I must ask. Were you prompt? <laughs> Were your prompt payments? <laughs> Those weren't prompt at all. That took like two months for me to get this payment out. Motivated by a desire for expand? No, I just want more storage. Because if so, I have good news. I would be more than happy to extend your further credit for construction. Do please come and see me if you'd like to discuss the details more, hmm? They're gone now, though. That's fine. They did they did their heavy lift, and that's that's all that needs to be done. About my home. I want to... I bet, let me look at the customizations now. Can I, like, decline after this? Because I do want to get the expansion just so I can get more storage again. But, uh, I want to just look at this really fast. No, I don't. Oh, I need to expand first. I don't have the room on the right, so I only have mailbox and roof. That's right. Back it up. About my home, I like to expand, please. Let's do it. Okay, Pate wanted a cardboard bed. Who is Pate? Let me. I think I've heard that name, but I don't exactly remember who that is. Let me look that up real fast. I'm <laughs> reading the rest of your comment now. Pate Animal Crossing. Oh, I like this. It's a it's a funny duck. <laughs> I like the eyebrows, <laughs> but the shirt's real nice too. It's a good duck. I've redone the construction area as an outdoor wedding venue. Oh, I have. Oh yeah, I haven't done the wedding stuff. That's a thing. Let's put away ten thousand. I should also go get my Animal Crossing amiibo cards so I can bring in Nate, maybe? As a new lazy villager? Question mark? I should probably put in more than just 10,000, but haha, let's just do that for right now. I need to worry about flowers. I will eventually be able to put away more clothing. Gosh dang, this is a mess. Everything's awful. Everything's awful. I, I don't know. I don't know why they do this now. They don't know how to sing anymore. Unless I go in the right spot. There's a sweet spot sometimes. But she doesn't seem to have a sweet spot today. She's broken. Like, at least she's trying. She's trying. You can still hear her. <laughs> I don't know. This is what happens when I don't play Animal Crossing for, like, too long. They just, they, they break. I don't know if this was ever shown off in stream yet, but I made Lime in a little workout place. It's real neat. And I love it. <laughs> Simulation breaking down. <laughs> it's pretty awful. Alright, so... I think I'm going to take away some of these fish and junk and start putting... How much space do I have? Oof, put this away. I got an idea. Drop all my materials over here. So I can start grabbing fish. And placing flowers in their stead. Let's go check on Sylvia one more time. Got any more progress in that song? Nope. There we 
There we go. All right. Good work. It's a good, a good start. We're off to good places with that, that one note that you got going. Appreciate you. Oh, boy. I don't think I was prepared for as much reading as I'm about to be into right now. So much new stuff. So much new stuff. Okay, I'm going to put Green Mum right here. And those stayed buds because they've been in my pocket for so long. I do have two of them there, buds. I got two new fellas in one day. That explains why I'm surprised at how much I have. I do not need more white lilies. White roses? Probably don't need those. I need to drop those iron nuggets. Oops. Also, today, KK showed up because tomorrow's a bug off or something. I don't know. And, uh, I didn't get a chance to do that because, again, I haven't played this game in a long time. I've been seeing a lot of these freaking beetles around. Even in the rain. Um. I don't think I need yellow lily either, so I'm gonna sell those flowers so far. How's the singing? I agree, keep up the good work. Oh, I haven't. I was about to sell these because I've seen so many of these that I'm like, just sell the Firefly and the Drone Beetle. Don't do that, don't do that, please. Because he just offers to sing KK Birthday. Oh, that's true. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. But hey. At least you got the KK birthday song. <laughs> that's the only way to get that song, if I recall correctly. So, hey, that's interesting. That's cool. May not be the best song out there, but it's a new one. How far are we at? We got another five spots. all this new fish and bugs. Blathers. Blathers. Oh, he should be awake. I'm not, not gonna bother him. So I got one, but he got cheated out of another one. Which one were you going to go for for today? If you had any of them in mind. I usually don't have, I, every time KK shows up, I'm like, oh yeah, that guy. And then I have to like pull up my phone and be like, what songs are there? I don't know. Ooh. I got, the one song I want to get now that I've seen Animal Crossing movie is K.K. Bossa, but I think I already got that because it was uh, available as a special good one day, so I think I'm already solid on that one, but I have to check. Welcome to the Get Me Out Museum. Hey, hey. Assess <laughs> fossils. I would like to make a donation one at a time. It's going to be so hard to get through all of this. Oh my gosh. Great white shark. Let's go. Who do you who? This must be a great white shark. Now might I interest you in a few fascinating facts about your great white shark? Wonderful. I would love nothing more. Great white sharks are obviously known first and foremost for their biting. They are masters of the craft. They do lose teeth regularly though. Biting related activity through no, not though. Through biting related activities, but luckily those teeth grow back quickly. In fact, their missing teeth can be regrown in a single day. Just imagine their tooth <laughs> fairy related income. That's. That is a little scary, honestly, to think those teeth come back so fast. Why why are human teeth so weird? Why don't I lose teeth anymore? <laughs> and regain. If I were to, like, lose my wisdom tooth, why doesn't a new one come back in? Huh? I mean, it caused me problems the first time, so I don't need a new one to come back in. But. <laughs> come on. If there's a problem, fix it, please, Mouth. And there you have it. Fascinating stuff, no? Also, since I have 
been playing off stream, I found out that the L button is the most important button in this game because it makes the text go fast without having to press the B button. And so I no longer have to juggle the A and B button whenever I'm trying to shut someone up. Not that I'm trying to shut up Blathers, he's the like main person I would never want to shut up, but still. Mosquito. I know, you love it. It's it's a boog. Alas, I'm obliged to ask. Yes, I would like to know. Oh, I see. In that case, <coughs> as everyone knows, the mosquito is a vampiric pest that sucks blood from innocent bystanders. But did you know that only the females suck blood? Who? It's true. They need it to make their eggs, and apparently the uh, males like nectar from flowers or whatever. When they sink their snout into our skin, they inject us with the saliva that helps them slurp up their meal. It's that saliva that makes us itch and scratch, you know. Whew, so, so rude. Giant Trevally. Took me three eternities to get this bad boy, but I got him. I saw that you, Michael McCaw, got the Mahi Mahi, and that's a big congrats that you got that one. That is a good birthday gift. Uh, I don't think I'm ever going to get that freaking Mahi Mahi. Awful. The worst. Ooh, woo woo. This is undoubtedly a giant Trevally. Now, might I interest you in a few fascinating facts about your giant Trevally? Yeah, play, I go for it. Wonderful, I would love nothing more. The giant Trevally, as befits its name, can reach 6 feet in length and 180 pounds. Its size and strength have made it a favorite opponent for anglers since time immemorial. They are also indi ingenious. <laughs> I was about to say indigenous, I'm like, whoops. Ingenious hunters, sometimes taking advantage of other predators to distract their prey. There have even been documented cases of them attacking birds. And there you have it, fascinating stuff, yeah, 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 yeah. That was the last fish and bug I needed to get all the currently available. Nice. That's awesome. That is probably not the last thing I need, but I feel like I'm actually getting somewhat close, so that's going to be the big holdup for the next forever, but I'm also wanting to quit this game, so it's literally going to be forever. Until the next comes out, next month comes out, and I'm gonna be like, I might as well show this off or that off. I don't know. I'm gonna return to this game here and there, and then get caught in this game again. Marvelous. What would it, I just? I don't want to talk about how I hate this game. Firefly. Tell me about this bug. Everyone likes fireflies except for you. Please tell me. A firefly isn't a fly at all. It is a beetle. You see. You see, and one known for its ghastly, glowing backside. This light is called bioluminescence, and is caused by, by, a chemical reaction in the rump. Males flash about the night sky to attract females, while their larvae turn on to glow, turn on the glow to put the off predators. Speaking of their yucky young, firefly larvae love to dine on snails. Who? Ew. Anywho, just my sincerest thanks for your donation, yada yada. I, as a kid, I used to love grabbing fireflies in my backyard, but I don't think I could do that anymore. I, I don't like any bug crawling on me. E like, even if it's just like my hands, and I grab it and be like, yo, hey. You know, when you cup your hands, you're like, hey. You like peek inside, you see the little glow, and you're like, oh. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it's it's good memories, but I, I, I'm glad that I don't need to do that again. Like, I, I don't like bugs. <laughs> I, I guess I agree with you, Blathers, to a certain degree. I don't hate bugs to your degree. They're fine. They're they can exist. They they're good. They're good fellas. But I just keep them a, li a little distant from myself. Thank you. Throwing a beetle. Yeah, tell me about it. I must say the drone beetle is like that boorish acquaintance who is. Much too loud for polite company. That is, it is a large bug with a square head and is so named for the droning noise it makes when it flies. Furthermore, it has hooks on its feet that help it cling to cling tightly to trees. Hook feet. How, 
how, how, I don't even know what this this word is. Please tell me about it. Interwebs. What is this word? Gauche. Let me see. Gauche. Gauche. Interesting. Lacking social grace, sensitivity, or acuteness. Awkward, crude, tactless. I like this word. Thank you. I appreciate you sometimes extremely blathers. I appreciate you so much. Gauche. Maybe that's what he's reading whenever you interrupt him. When he's awake, he's reading a dictionary just so he can impress people when he talks about... He's reading dictionaries and encyclopedias. He hates these bugs, but he can't stop picking up, like, the newest edition of the bug encyclopedia off of, like, eBay every freaking month. Hoo-hoo. Why, this is a hammerhead shark. Tell me about it. The hammerhead shark is known for its distinctive hammer-shaped head, hence the name. Uh, obviously. Anywho, this oddly shaped head allows the beast to see 360 degrees around itself, from top to bottom. Imagine being able to see so widely. You can check for untied shoelaces and imminent rain simultaneously. Just love cool information. What do we have next? We have Goliath Beetle. Friend struggled to get this bad boy for the longest time. I have gotten so many of them that I promised I was going to make him a statue and send it his way. I also brought him to my town so he can catch one. I, I found it. I'm like, yo, this way. Come on. Come over here. <laughs> I'm like this, one of those guys uh, in front of the, the airplane saying, hey, you're clear for landing. <laughs> You're clear to catch the Goliath beetle. Go, go. Oh, I see. In that case, <clears throat> whew, ew. The Goliath beetle is a colossal creature that can grow up to four inches long. Yes, they love to sup, sup on sap. That's amazing. I've not heard that word either. I mean, I mean, <laughs> while I have my phone out, let's look it up. S U P. No, don't give me. Don't, why are you giving me an advertisement about Facebook? I don't want it. Why would I want to know about Facebook? Stop, go away. Sup. <laughs> to eat the evening meal, have supper. I guess that makes sense. I'm a little bit dumb. I'm a little slow on that, but that's awesome. Sup on sap and pollen and frolic amongst the flowers. That's, that's cute. But did you know the Goliath beetle has a horn upon his head that it uses to fight its foes? And picture this. Each one of it. This behemoth legs and uh, ends in pincers, deep, calming breaths. <sighs> Anywho, that's all, that's all I really have to say about it. Surely you don't have any more bugs for me, do you? Marvelous, what is it? Ah, a centipede, what a wretched thing. The centipede's name means 100 legs, but I can tell you now, that's a lie. These ugly bugs can have as few as 15 pairs of legs, or as many as 171. But because of how their bodies are segmented, they ne never have exactly 100. Ooh, it's true. That's actually really awesome. I did not know that. That's amazing. You know what else is true? Centipedes are carnivorous, aggressive, and venomous. And their bite is quite painful, too. Horrible things, I say. <gasps> oh my gosh, you're right! <laughs> you're right! It's Trumpet O'Clock! Good, that's that's my my cue to go get the rest of the stuff that I haven't picked up in my pockets for blathers. And I, I could also use this as a great opportunity to go use the restroom as you guys listen to those amazing trumpets. I'll even leave that in for the upload to YouTube. Because those are the best trumpets, it's just the best. Do I have enough to pick up these? No, I don't. Okay, where do I? Wah, womp, womp, womp. Orange lily buds. Where? Oh, they're buds. But hey. Also, man, the thunderstorm. I don't think I've actually seen this in my game yet. That's neato. Let's put my 
orange right here until I find a spot for them. Oh, sorry, snail. So is this all the fish and all the bugs? Wow, it's so nice and clear. And then when you go down here, now this is the mess. <laughs> it didn't even look this bad whenever you first arrive on the island and like there's weeds everywhere. That's so nice. I love the thunderstorm. <laughs> it didn't look this bad whenever you first get here. Oof, I appreciate a little bit what's happening. But anyway. As I said, I'm gonna go use the restroom. Enjoy the trumpets and the thunderstorm. Let me. Uh... There we go. Be right back. Hey, hey, I've returned, and I also just now realized, hey, this is where the OK Motor sign ended up migrating to. Thanks again for that, Michael McCaw. But, after going to the bathroom and washing my hands, I also grabbed myself a small glass of milk. A very small glass of milk, but, uh, <laughs> I did something illegal. I put in the same glass that I was drinking whiskey out of. But, hey, now I have milk, which I needed to have earlier for, um, what's it called? Majora's Mask. Oh. So I'm drinking like oat milk. There's, there's a little bit of nuttiness, but the smokiness from the Lafroig that was in there actually was amazing. That was not illegal. That was perfect. Okay. Every time you finish off, don't, don't, I should not recommend this. Especially if you're drinking with Ardbeg. It might taste amazing with Ardbeg. Ardbeg, my favorite little boy over there. Look at my empty Ardbeg bottle. One of these days, I'm going to donate some plasma. Get me a new video game. Donate plasma again. Get me a new Ardbeg. But I wouldn't say disrespect Ardbeg like that. But if you, if you have Lefroig, you can, you can disrespect your Lefroig by finishing off the last drops that remain in your glass by having a glass of milk. <laughs> Man, it's your nightly glass of chocolate milk. Ooh. I haven't had chocolate milk in forever. Might there be something? Yes, there. Yeah, I want to make a donation. I should try chocolate milk again. I used to not like it, uh, 
for the most part. I mean, I guess I didn't like it whenever it was made with the chocolate syrup. And I still kind of don't like chocolate syrup, but I... I want to try it again, just to see what my opinions are. Have I already donated a flea? Oops, I thought I... Interesting. Huh, a fly. What a... This fly, this fly <clears throat> was the worst thing ever. It took me forever. This was the hardest of the things. Even harder than the giant trevally, because whenever I wanted to catch that giant trevally, I just got a bunch of fishing bait and went to town like a... I don't know, like 50 fish later, or maybe more, I caught it. But this fly, I had so much trash around my town, and I was waiting for this fly. It ruined my five-star rating one day, and I was, like, unable to get uh, my Lily of the Valley just because I couldn't catch a fly. They didn't want to show up. It was the worst. This fly should not have been that hard. What a wretched thing. I agree. Alas, I'm obliged to ask. Yes, I want to know more. Oh, I see. In that case... <clears throat> The foul fly is quite a dis disquieting creature. I tell you, it tastes its food with its feet. Yeep. In fact, when flies rub their legs together, they do so to get rid of the debris blocking their taste receptors. And did you know, their heavy toes release a sticky goo so that they can walk on any surface? Even your ceiling. This gross goo gets on your food, too. Any hoot. My sincerest thanks for your donation. Hope you have a nice meal today. Ooh, arowana. I want to. I want to know about fish. Not not necessarily shark fish, but regular fish. I do want to know all about. I like fish. Now, might I interest you in a few fascinating facts? Yeah. It would seem your angling expertise knows no. Ba I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't speak too soon, Blathers. I... Trust me. I can't catch more than 39 in a row. This beauteous arowana fetches a pretty bell. Though, I'd venture to say that its true price is beyond measure. The arowana is an excellent jumper. Some have been seen leaping six feet out of the water. At what? Alas, it has also been on the endangered species list for some time. So I'm glad to have it in my music. It's up to us to do all we can to help preserve such magnificent creatures for the years to come. And there you have it. Fascinating stuff, no? Beta. The beta has long fins and beautiful coloring. It's a tropical fish popular in decorative aquariums. They're t very territorial and will fight to compete complete exhaustion. So, aquarists. I've never heard that term. I can guess what that is, but aquarists <laughs> must keep them carefully. Rarely do such beauty and violence commingle. I've also never heard that word. That's amazing mingle outside the rowdiest of sunset viewing parties. And there you have it, fascinating stuff, no. Rest assured, all donations are displayed in a timely manner. Arapaima. The stately Arapaima. Is quite large, indeed. It is amongst the largest freshwater fish there are. Furthermore, these fascinating fish make quite the family unit. That is to say, male arapaimas protect their young by holding them gently in their mouths. Meanwhile, female arapaimas swim circles around these full mouthed fathers, fending off the predators. It simply goes to show that cold blooded creatures can be heartwarming too. Rainbow fish. That that was a bit of a while before I caught this thing. But I think it was because like I stopped playing at the hours of the days these things showed up. I think they were like morning time and I was only playing this like at night. There are over fifty different species, each unique each a unique and pleasing color. I must say it does make me wish for feathers of a more exciting hue than 
under baked brownie please you're that's a good brown actually you your brown is fantastic so appreciate what you got sir please I'd, I'd rate your brown like a freaking solid eight and a half out of ten right there the brown on my bag is like an 8.75 out of 10. I don't know what a 10 out of 10 would be, but I'm too scared to make a claim that something's a 10 out of 10. So know that your <laughs> your hue of brown is fantastic, all right? You're like coffee bean brown, my boy, and it's good. Oh, hey, thank you, Michael McCaw, for the sub. Appreciate that. Look at those emotes. <laughs> the big old buff arms and funny fella. I don't even know what that fella is, but he's he's funny looking. And he's got the big old beef arms. Thank you, I appreciate that. More donations. I have like so this poor owl has so much work ahead of him. See you can. He didn't actually sub right now, but it just did you uh do the Reminder thing? Yeah, see, I, I have that happen sometimes, too. <laughs> and I'm like, I want to ignore whenever it says, hey, announce your sub. <laughs> and I'm like, I kind of don't want to announce it since I didn't do it right now. Like, I ca that boat has, like, already sailed. Like, I don't know about this. But at the same rate, it is very incessant on how it says, hey... By the way, it's been like about, I don't know, 15 minutes. I'm going to remind you again that you can announce your sub. And so I I like to get rid of it because it's annoying. But eh. <laughs> it's, it's, it's weird like that. But at least it does allow you to like have that little shout out. Like, hey, you subbed even uh, if it is an automatic payment. It's weird that it throws <laughs> and throws you off because you're trying to keep track of subs. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, tell me all about the coelacanth. The coelacanth is a deep sea fish that has been around since the age of the dinosaurs. They were long thought extinct, so when living specimens were discovered, it, it was quite a shock. Now I'll just have to figure out where the, where in the museum to display it, fish or fossils. Put in the fine art section. <laughs> Put all the fish in the fine art section. <laughs> it makes more sense that way. Peacock butterfly. I think these guys only show up around like your blues and purples uh, for flowers. Uh, only near the blue and purple flowers or whatever. So they gave a friend of mine like some big trouble until they were able to get a lot more blues. And they also had the time wrong when they the peacock butterfly should have arrived. So they were like way too early hunting for this thing. A peacock butterfly. Blah. Do you want to know more about it? All right, fine. Pretty as a peacock. Bah, I say. The wings of a peacock butterfly may have a pattern similar to that of a beautiful of the beautiful bird, but its four wings are off, also often covered in dark velvety hair. You heard right, hairy wings. I don't know why I couldn't say that. Hairy wings. A hair-raising revelation indeed. <laughs> That's the only insult you can give it. Good. Awesome. <laughs> Time for a turtle. The the important turtle that everyone likes turtle. And I guess it is really good decoration, so I appreciate it, but... Hoo-hoo! This is a snapping turtle. Wow-wee! The snapping turtle is a large turtle known for its crocodile-like body and long claws. No, wait. It is even better known for its ferocious bite which it can deliver with a shocking speed for a turtle. No, wait! It is best known for that time that unchased me across the parking lot and I had to climb on top of a car. And there you have it. Fascinating stuff, no? I don't know why it's like kind of shocking to me, like a shocking revelation that like Blathers has interacted with a car. Just thinking of it from the perspective of this video game as opposed to like watching like uh, the Animal Crossing movie and seeing like Cap'n or whoever was driving uh, I over to the 
the town in a car is like it's not that big of a thing but it's like wait a second you guys know what cars are you're always in such a tight-knit town that you don't, you don't have to do anything other than walk but wait a second cars <laughs> i don't know i just forgot about cars i forget about cars when i play this game that's what this game does to you <laughs> i don't know i don't know why this is weirding me out as much as this shit it's just as much as it is when it really shouldn't cherry salmon the cherry salmon is related to the salmon. Whoa! 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 Amazing! And is known for the distinctive pattern of polka dots. Uh, po these polka dots disappear as they mature, but only in the fish of the certain of certain geographic areas. Pity the poor researchers that must make sense of the cherry salmon's fickle fashion sense. Gar. Took me forever to catch this thing because I don't have a. I didn't have a pond for the longest time. It was a problem. But hey, at least I, I'm thrilled that I have a pond now, though. Hoo hoo, so you snagged a gar. Did you know that these. This beastly fish can grow up to nine feet long. Indeed, the gar is a remnant of times long past, a living fossil, if you will. It not only has a sharp has sharp teeth and armor-like scales, it has the ability to make take breaths of air as well. Ah, to look upon this unusual fish is to get a glimpse of our prehistoric past. And there you have it, fascinating stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm making a big dent. I'm almost done. I'm down to 12 more things. Suckerfish. The suckerfish is a curious fish that likes to attract itself, attach its, <laughs> attach itself with its sucker mouth to large marine animals. The benefit to the suckerfish is that it gets to eat smaller parasites and dead skin off the host's body. Amazingly, some people have used suckerfish on cords to catch long turtles. L long, large turtles with the fish's own suction. Imagine this. <laughs> this practice is. I imagine this practice is the cause of some awkward conversation between fish and turtle. And uh, what? Yeah, I, I'm down to eleven more things, and I'm already losing my ability to read. Oof, oof. Let's go. Let's finish this marathon. There's no quitting now. Rainbow Stag. This is a cool one. Uh, not not to you, though. Please tell me. Rainbows are beautiful things. I'm sure we all agree. But Rainbow Stag beetles? Blech! Yes, yes. This beetle's back and belly shine with a pretty rainbow-colored luster. But that does not change the fact that this bug has large pincers on his face and loves to pick a fight. That's... That's the best thing about it. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I, I don't know. I love big old pincer beetle bugs. They're, they're great. <laughs> they're wonderful. I can't wait for the Hercules beetle to show up. Uh, I don't know if that'll be next month or like the month after that, but hey, those guys should probably be coming up soon. If one could wish upon a rainbow, then I wish to, <laughs> to stay far away from the rainbow stag. Oh, you said something else. I moved. Sorry. I'll catch another rainbow stag. I'll be able to see what that is. I think... Oh, no. We're down to one more bug. I'll get that out of the way for you, okay? The emperor butterfly is called the jewel of the forest, but it's vivid blue hue. Ew. Let me tell you, the color does not come by from the dye, but rather from light reflecting off layers of translucent, translucent scales. Yes, butterfly wings are covered in tiny scales. Scales. Butterfly? Bah! More like snake of the sky. So, basically, Blathers does not like wings that have anything other than feathers. If it's scales, that's a big no. If it has hairs, that's extreme no. <laughs> that's, that's pretty awesome. 
I don't even know how to pronounce this this fish. I, I feel like I'm gonna be saying like a bad word. <laughs> yes, please tell me. What an elegant specimen you've found. The sad old birch tree has a look entirely its own. They have poor eyesight, so they use fine-tuned sniffers to seek out prey. Can you imagine relying solely on your sense of smell to find food? And if one nostril became clogged, would you be unable to tell how far away the scent was? Alright, come on, let's keep going. Let's keep this train happening. Ribbon eel! This is one... I, I almost want to say this for last. Both the catfish and ribbon eel are really exciting. Whale shark. Grotto. Yeah, I think these are probably like my most exciting things that I want you to talk about. I love eels. They're fantastic. Hootie who? This must be a ribbon eel. And you know who else likes that likes eels? Herons. They freaking feast on eels all the time. The ribbon eel is related to the moray eel, though its bright coloration distinguishes it. It also has an unusual plant-like appendage at the top of its nose. I love that little appendage, honestly. It's fantastic. I'm gonna have to show that off in the Critterpedia. It's it's super cute. <laughs> At the tip of its nose, that flutters like, flutters as the creature moves. I like to think of it as a, having an extremely friendly, <laughs> friendly nose that waves a greeting to those nearby. And there you have it, fascinating stuff, no? I don't want to, I, I'll be back with the catfish soon. Catfish is great, but give me one moment, one brief moment. Look at that. Look at that little... <laughs> it's, a cute, it's a cute little long boy. I love him. <laughs> he is wonderful. <laughs> I love him. I think he's a great friend. I already have a ribbon eel uh, statue because I saw CJ in my town. I'm like, oh, buddy. Let's see. What do I What do I give you? I don't even know what to give you, but I, may, I need to make a statue while you're here. And I'm like, well, the best thing... I already have the catfish, so time for the ribbon eel. That's like the only other good thing I have right now. I can't wait for more eels to show up. I would like to make another donation. Catfish. I made a statue of this, but I never gave you one, so tell me about it. Catfish don't have scales and are rather slimy, believe it or not. The slime helps them breathe. Some specimens of catfish are nocturnal, and they... They'll feed on almost anything. They use, their su they use a suctioning action to pull in their food. Did I mention they can grow as large as you, you or I? No, they, uh, they freaking catfish can get extremely big. It is fantastic. And there you have it. Fascinating stuff, though. Also, why I like Whiskosh the Pokemon, because good catfish Pokemon. Excellent. Thank you for creating a catfish Pokemon game, Frank. Um... What's, what other fish do I have? I already got the best fish out of the way now. Saw shark? Not really excited about sharks. Is this even a shark? Is he going to tell me it's not a shark? As you might expect from the name, the saw shark is a, No, it is a shark. It's a shark with a head that resembles a saw. This unusual appendage is both used both to dig potential prey out of the sand and as a weapon against said prey. <laughs> Love Whiskosh, hell yeah! What <laughs> a good, good, freaking fantastic boy. <laughs> Love slimy boys. Excellent. Given that, it seems like more of a, like a more appropriate name would be would have been Shovel Sword Shark. Uh, what? Shovel Sword Sark, a weapon to surpass Shovel Knight. Whale shark. Who do you who? The mighty whale shark is the largest species of fish in the world with specimens up to 60 feet long. Unlike many of their kin in the shark family, whale sharks are non violent, eating only plankton, plankton and such. They grow slowly and live long, relaxed lives of filtered feeding and leisure in warm waters. So if you ever have 
If you ever have to choose a fish as a roommate, you could do worse than a whale shark. Unless you can't swim. That's actually really cute. I appreciate the whale sharks. I mean, I knew that they were filter feeding, but I didn't know they just... They like warm wires and just chilling. That's that's cute. A cute perspective that you have there, Blathers. Tilapia. Now, I do. this is a fish I do not like. I've eaten tilapia. It's probably the worst fish I've ever ate. I hate it. Tell me about this awful fish. Wherever the waters are warm, tilapia can be found. It is a highly adaptable river fish. They mainly feed on algae, but they will also eat larvae and dead fish, or whatever fits in their mouths. I'll confess that. As a growing owlet, I similarly define food as anything that fits in my beak. Dorado. Ooh, so shiny. This massive fish's name, Dorado, means golden in Spanish. A fitting title. They are also quite valuable. I understand. Uh, quite valuable, I understand. I congratulate you on your top-notch angling. They are rather large, eh, what? It makes Mun wonder what they might feed on. Fowl, perhaps? One quivers at the very thought. Well, it'll be safe behind glass, no doubt. Quite safe. <laughs> Thank you. I'm down to like two fish, right? I'm like, I'm like almost on with this. Holy moly. <laughs> my pockets, my island, my everything. <laughs> ah, the butterfly fish is just charming with its beautiful colors and elegant movements. I think most fish have elegant movements. If you ever like take a second to look at, if you go to like any aquarium or anything and just like look at fish, they're mesmerizing, all of them. I think it's fantastic, just... It's partly the reason why I like fish. Like, if you ever have a chance to just, like, look at them, like, hours can go by and you probably won't even notice. <laughs> it's crazy. I refer to it as a butterfly fish, but it's actually a grouping in which there are over 100 types. There are beautiful... Th these beautiful aquatic friends swim in schools amidst coral. Amid coral. Fluttering back and forth with the tides. The sheer awe one must experience when witnessing such a sight. It must be a dream. It, it probably is. It, they're, a fish are fantastic to watch. So much better than actual butterflies. And there you have it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One to go. What's the last guy? What's the last guy? What do we have? Nibblefish. And there's, now, I think, one more thing to read, so, like, this isn't even the end of the reading. <laughs> Nibblefish are best known for their use in a certain skin treatment. This treatment has apparently been used for thousands of years. I've never experienced that treatment. Because they eat your dead skin with their little toothless mouths. <laughs> Can you imagine anything so repellent? Please don't ask me any follow-up questions. <sighs> Man, I am done. I almost want to like tour my museum to see what it's like to actually have fish, actually have bugs, crazy stuff like that. Oh, and I forgot, it's big rain today. I love it. Already you're picking up the encyclopedia again? Give me one second, please. Dunkleosteus? Dunkleosteus. Ooh, ooh, could it be? Whoa! Unbelievable. The Dunkleosteus flourished long before the dinosaurs and was a sort of armored fish. Curiously, only fossils for for the head and shoulders have been found. We much sim must simply imagine the rest. While its face was rather frightening, I like to picture a cute little tail and perhaps some fluffy paws on its fins. 
Such speculation is not scientific, of course, and essentially amounts to paleontological fanfiction. I own that. And there you have it. Fascinating stuff. Go a quick tour and then see Harvey's Island because apparently there's some awful thing happening there with weddings or something. Oh, I caught the koi. I, that was probably a long time ago. I don't... Are koi even available now? <laughs> I forgot that those even existed in this game. Oh, they're available always. In ponds, that's why I forgot about their existence. That makes sense. Of course they're in ponds. Of course I don't have a pond. That's why I haven't seen them. Duh. <laughs> pond fish don't exist for me. Oh, this is where the big old river fellas go. Wait. What's that thing down there? It's that old birch tree. Okay. I was like, what is that? I forget what that is. Cherry salmon, I think. Is that a tilapia? What's the... Yeah, that's a tilapia. Awful fish. Awful. I mean, it looks nice, so at least it's a good fish, but... Whenever I think about tilapia, I just think about, like, having a meal of tilapia and not being happy. This really is a good, uh... Well, not over here. I, this needs to fill out a little bit more. But there's my... There's there's the boy! There he is! There he is! <laughs> having a day! Hi! Hi! <laughs> I love him. Uh... It's really nice having this place filled with fish for for once in my life. This is a really nice museum. There's the whale shark. And there are great red sharks on here too. Is that What's that fish down there? Is that the giant Trevally? I forget what that is. Be giant Trevally, that's it. Everything is gonna say like June 27th. <laughs> Everything was donated on June 27th. Oh, there's the coelacanth. He gets his own special zone. <laughs> I love when Joel says it's it's him. <laughs> I don't know how I don't know how to do an imitation of Joel, but it, I love when he does that little hush like it's him. <laughs> like wow. <laughs> my favorite. I need to, like, pay attention to Joel's voice. I, I'm not good at imitating, though, so I don't think I would ever be able to nail his voice, but if I could master the it's him, that would, like, be a dream come true. <laughs> I guess I don't really have too many bugs yet, but I have a lot more bugs than I used to. I like how a lot of the bugs go here, even though, like, there's no... Except for the spider. There's nothing to read about this area. The, this, Some of the bugs will migrate to the sap spot and, you know, have a little picnic up here. But, like, I think the beetles go elsewhere. Like, is this where the beetles go? Drone beetle. Like, I caught the drone beetle, but it doesn't show me the drone beetle as opposed to, like, over here. It zooms in on the jewel beetle and the Rosalia Batesi. And the citrus longhorn. It doesn't zoom in on the drone beetle because guess where the drone beetle's at? He's right there. He's that guy. Right there. So I don't know. I think it's it's silly. I like it. I appreciate it. I can dig it. And I mean, since you've already caught it, it's gonna be in your critterpedia. So you can always like find out what it is by looking through your own bunch of insects and be like, what was that thing that was on that sap tree? It was a, uh, oh yeah, it was a drone beetle and a goliath beetle and some other stuff. I don't think I have anything new in here other than fly. Would fly show up somewhere? Hello, fly. Can I look at, how do I read about the fly? 
mosquito. Flea. Paper kite butterfly. Fly. The, the freaking worst thing to catch. Gosh dang. Long locust. I didn't know you were in here. Oh. I figured you were going to be out in the previous room. Ant. But what goes in down here? I don't have anything yet, but something's going to go down there. Maybe like the mole cricket? Have I donated the mole cricket yet? Hmm. Question mark. I thought I did. Maybe? Big question mark. And sadly, it's not morning, so we don't really get to enjoy the full beauty of this room. But this room is still great. I love it. Because, I mean, it's got butterflies, it's got flowers galore. It's got this wonderful fountain. It's great. This is, like, the best, the best room with the bug section. Hands down. 100%. This room is also really good, though. So, that, I mean, you can't go saying that this room is bad by any means. Anyway, let's go to visit Harv. He's been waiting for a long time to get these wedding plans underway, and I've just been ignoring him. When's a better time to get uh, married other than uh, the best thunderstorm around town? Of course, his island's probably got no issues. It's always sunny in Harv's Island. Time for takeoff. Let's go. <laughs> Thinking about my weeds again. <laughs> my weeds have taken over. Sorry. I'm just thinking like about how like beautiful my pathway was and now it's like something completely different. Oh man. <laughs> hey, how's it going, Rifleman? Came back during Animal Crossing. I'm fixing like 12 messes all tonight. Except I've already finished. I finished one of the messes, which was donating stuff to Blathers. The other mess is going to be making sure my flowers are perfect. I guess this is a mess right here, a mess in and of itself. I have not done the Harv stuff ever, as you can see by them standing outside. Peach crisps. <laughs> Crisp crisps. Peach crisp static. That looks like we got a whole lot of radio chatter going over the yonder. I can't not wave at the good boy. What's happening? <laughs> well, you missed your perfect opportunity to get back to sleep. I read through, like, probably 30 different entries of blathers reading about uh, different fish and bugs. That could have put anyone to sleep, probably. Oof. But, hey, there's still a little bit of chill time that we're about to have doing whatever the frick this is. I know that you have to, like, arrange, like, wedding pews and place like a bunch of stuff in a way that you can get all 11 or whatever heart cr I don't I have never done this I don't know how it works but there's like a way to do it that gets you the stuff you need easily and it's not pretty <laughs> hey I can hear you we're still groovy and anniversary the anniversary shoot's gonna happen I'm just like behind a little Mm. Well, okay, but what do we do about the lovely sets? Prepping them ourselves could get a bit ticklish. Uh oh, I've been spotted. Hey there, thanks for coming. So, I need to borrow you for a minute. Okay, so this here is Reese. And her main squeeze, Cyrus. They're married and in love. Um, a whole bunch. Far out, right? Anyway, they want to get some anniversary photos made. Fancy ones. With sets and stuff. And cause it's June now, and June is wedding season, uh, here they are. And June is a whole season now. Whoa. 
The thing is, I'm cool with lending out my studio, but my wedding sets are running slightly behind schedule. I had ordered decorations and painted all the walls and floors, but then a neat bird flew by there and went went by flew by and there went May. Long story, uh, long. Someone still gotta move stuff around, so it looks wedding y then snap some photos. So, think I could ask you to be that someone? You'd really be helping the Shutter Dog out. Sounds fun, I guess. Oh, I guess the other option was still yes. I should have said, I guess. Really? Wow. You are solid on down. Come on, let's go. This is my wedding picture studio. It's, a uh, actually, my kitchen with some set walls I put up. Let me know if you get hungry. It works pretty much exactly like my regular, not my kitchen studios. But if you forget how those work, which will just, which will happen sometimes, just come find me outside. Oh, one thing. If you gotta take five part... If you gotta take five part way through, no prob, but talk to me before you go back in, okay? <laughs> Otherwise, Reese is in charge, so if you wanna know what to do, she's your alpaca. Cool. Cool. I owe ya. So, I've been longing to come back to Harv's Isle, but I couldn't do it because of this event happening here, and it bothered me, so I'm glad that I finally had this out of the way, so. Now that I've documented this on stream, I could go here whenever I want. Not that I want to play this game anymore, I really don't. <laughs> Hello there, it's nice to meet you. I'm Reese. You, we, we've met, uh, I don't know, like five years ago whenever New Leaf was a thing. I, I visited you, like, rarely because you closed at 2 o'clock and I was only playing at 3 o'clock. But still, I've sold stuff to you several times. And Reese was asleep for, like, the first month. <laughs> I'm Reese, and I'm pleased as just as pleased. I'm just pleased as punch that you're helping us out. There, there's the words in the order. And this is my hubby, my darling. The name's Cyrus. Good to meet you. I can do uh, your job very easily, Cyrus. I know you're good at customizing things, but do you know that if I have like a little kit, I could do that just as easily, and it's kind of fantastic. I thought you and uh, Reese were kind of dead, but I'm glad to see you guys are back, so that's actually kind of great. I just know these photos are going to be so romantic, and just in time for our anniversary. Of course, we, need, we do this every year for our anniversary, but it's always special, isn't it? It's just like a slice of life from that year. A delicious slice, almost as sweet as our love, right, hon? That's right. Sweeter than the sweetest kugel. What, what, let me t tell me what a kugel is. I don't know about this sweet. Alright, Google. Tell me. Oh. That looks kind of cool. A baked pudding or casserole. Most commonly made from egg noodles. Ooh. Or potato. Ooh. It is traditional something 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 Jewish dish that is served on Shabbat and Yom Tov. Interesting. That, that sounds, that looks interesting. I would like to try that. Oh, you. Such a romantic. Oh, sorry. I forgot <laughs> what we were doing for a second there. We just get so lost in our own little world sometimes. Anywho. So here's what we're thinking for this year's photo set. A re- creation of our entire wedding day and you can help us by making this place feel like we're saying I do all over again it'll be just like decorating your own place easy peasy oh I almost forgot my amazing sci guy even built some custom wedding furniture for the shoot <laughs> look at him proud isn't that so sweet of my schmoopy he really put his heart into him so I hope you can make them work just open the event tab to take a look at, take a look and grab what you want for the shoot, okay? So today I'm thinking we should take a ceremony photo in a place that looks like a wedding chapel. 
It would be just like a real ceremony. Pro professing our love for each other in front of everyone. So romantic. What we're looking for is a cute set with plenty of pink and white. Ew. Sorry, I don't like the color pink. I'm sorry. I don't... I mean, I have, like, a pink heart in, the, like, the backside of my uh, resident services because I didn't know what to do with pink mums. And I don't want to get rid of all of my pink mums because I want to have at least some of, like, every color flower. But anyway, I kind of don't like the color pink. Preferably using lots of furniture my Psy guy made. Just let us know when you're ready for us to start posing. I can't wait to see what you'll come up with. I sold most of my pink mums. I had like an uh, abundance. I had at least 40 of them. And I was like, they kept coming. They kept coming. So I put them on my beach. And then they were on my beach for the longest time. And I'm like, does anyone want pink mums? I was like talking to all my friends. Like, especially one of my friends. I kept asking him, like, do you want pink mums? He's like, uh, no. And I'm like, <laughs> <sighs> I don't think I have any spare pink mums anymore. But I could probably manage to get you some of them. Maybe. I'll see. So basically that's what you do, except that you actually... Ooh, uh oh, don't want to grab that. Why did I grab that? Except that, uh... You fill up the entire place with, like, <laughs> wedding pews and kerplow. That's it. Or, like, even other stuff. Over here. That's too close. I'm gonna kinda take this seriously, and I'm not gonna like do the thing that everyone does, which I know might not get me everything that you'd hope for, but I don't care. Oh, stop grabbing that. Ooh. Happy birthday to your sister, then. Tell her some idiot, like, on the internet was like, yo, happy birthday. <laughs> okay, we already got the flooring, don't we? I mean, we definitely have that wall. We definitely have a bunch of these rugs, but now these everywhere <laughs> it's gonna look gross but I'm gonna put this over every single window or maybe oh gosh this is this is juggling isn't it I'm gonna try to get her Raymond <laughs> for her present oh boy good luck on that I wish you the best of luck finding a good Raymond we can put down. What else do I have that's pink? <laughs> Say your I do's in the seats, baby. Dang it. Oops. I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. <laughs> I hate it. There you guys go. They're already making out. Um, what else do I have? I could probably throw some cardboard in there. Cute bed. <laughs> I said I was taking it seriously, but apparently not. Apparently not. <laughs> Just... 
sorry, this is this is entertaining. Now, this is specifically for Cyrus. I know he enjoys this kind of thing. So I'll put that right behind them. That's the perfect that's the altar that they <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> is that pink enough? Probably not. <laughs> oh, perfect. Absolutely. Anything else? Oh, how about a pink fan? <laughs> Gotta keep them cool. <laughs> the best one. <laughs> oh, no. Yes, he could go. Okay. Um. It's, it's on. <laughs> this is the victory move right here. Let's just get these a little bit out of the way. Sorry. I hope y'all appreciate these chairs, but they're just gonna go in the back. I got you a better seat. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yeah. There we go. <laughs> we got this. That's a wedding right there. And a bidet from when you're done. I'll just get rid of this one. <laughs> There's a bidet on this side specifically. This fan can go back where it was. Anything else very unique and good. <laughs> I don't have a, a Mrs. Flamingo, so there's a little bit of a gay wedding happening. That's all right, because it's Pride Month. Climbing wall. Good. You need to have some activities on your wedding, don't you? Like, of course. Come on, get get back down there. Okay, now let's see what else we have. What do we have? We gotta have some good stuff. I know I get pink stuff all the time. And I'm like, I don't think I'm ever gonna use this because it's pink. But this is my opportunity. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> For, oh, yes. The TV. The cassette player. Okay. Let's eliminate some of the stuff. TV gets to stay over here. No, don't, don't switch. Okay, turn around. The music gets to play on this side. Thank you, Mom, gets to stay, of course. Of course. Gets to go right in front of this cone. This is extremely gamer. Now, of course, my my favorite song for a wedding would have to be KK Fair. Oh, L ZL takes a picture. I'm not done quite done yet. Anything else really nice? Pink, really nice white. Oh yeah, I need to get tissues whenever I go visit uh, Rex. Can't forget that. Pink hamster cage, baby. This is exciting to like look through my whole list of everything. Oh, there's gotta be something pink wall mounted. Awesome. Please, give me something good. Tapestry with like love on it. Wait a second, what is this happening? Yeah, that's cute. I'm gonna need one of those. Anything else? Oh my gosh. Here comes the posters. Oh no, this is just the posters I've actually acquired in my house. Ava has a little bit of a pink background. Freckles is pink themselves. And uh, hashtag remove freckles from Animal Crossing. I love freckles. So absolutely that's happening. This is pretty pink. This is the best chapel. Any items overlapping with windows were put away? 
No! I've ruined it. <laughs> but this is now where we're having the wedding at. And that's all right. <laughs> and that means I can just remove these right here and instead put like freckles. Two freckles posters, baby. Freckles and freckles, at it again. Now what else we have? Also, I need to move this probably right here. I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know where to put that. I guess that doesn't stay. Does it? No. Yeah? Okay, get rid of this. Put in this right here. The hamster now has a fan. We still have to thank mom. I, that, you know what? Hamster gets a nice sip of the thank you mom tea. Yeah, let's look for a good pink flooring. Chocolate. On a hot summer day, that's gonna be gross to step on. Oh, perfect! That's working out pretty well. For the pews, they're gonna be nicely on there. And is there anything else? Can I... Can I switch their outfits? No, I can't. They're ha they have to be in wedding attire. Oh, <gasps> you can play stuff. Okay. That's, that's the game over move right now. We won. That's it. ZL, which one's that? That's the back left. I think that's good. I think that's perfect. You don't get better than that. They're already kissing. They, they're they so romantic on their toilets right now. They don't even know how to contain their, their, their tongues. Okay, uh, ZL. Pictures from different angles. Let's take a aerial angle. That'll do. And now uh, zoom in. How do I do that? That's like how you zoom in. Let's get me in the frame a little bit. I'm I'm a big part of this wedding. I'm the one who orchestrated how this looks, so I don't want to cover up her face, but <laughs> that'll be good. Maybe like one more from this angle, especially since those wall climbing, uh, rock climbing walls really ruined the everything. Now do I just talk to them? What do I do when I'm done? Oh, it's coming along. Does this mean you're ready for us to start the photo session? Yay, this is so exciting. Um, oh, before we get started, I do have another teensy request. Will you be our photographer? I already was. Don't get me wrong, Harvey is great. It's just this lovely set you're vision and I want is your vision and I want you to realize it so when you're ready just press ZL to launch the camera app and press the, uh, the plus button to take a picture if you find yourself in the frame and you don't want to be press the minus button to change what's shown in the frame oh I want to be here okay I know you we're asking a lot but I also know that you got this I can't wait to see what you come up with any other good songs that I have to play? Dirge. So can I turn up the volume a little bit more? I already did. <laughs> I 
all of it. I think she blinked. Gosh dang it. This is my vision. And you need to have vision during my vision. That's it. That's the picture. Are you, pr are you proud of me, guys? We're counting on you, Squirt. Do I need to take more pictures? Aerial view, where they're both looking up at the ceiling for no reason. Dr. Reese when I'm done, alright. Are you proud? Oh, that last one seemed nice. Mind if I take a quick peek? Did you take more than one? I'll look at just the last one. I'll just look at the last one if that's okay. Let me take another in that case. I need to get that one picture I had again from the back. Oh, no. Bigger time. Perfect. Tell me about it. You thrilled? This is a this is a wedding that you will not forget. Oh, that last one seemed quite Oh, it did. Go ahead. Oh my goodness. It's everything that I could have wanted. You somehow captured all the joy and love that my darling and I share in one amazing photo. I love it. Anyway, I have a little something to show our appreciation, so I hope you like it. My side guy made it just for you. It's a wedding bench. I've already stashed your reward with your other stuff, so you're all set. And, because I'm just full of surprises, I also have some heart crystals for you. They're so cute that... I just hate to give them away, but my side guy likes them too. He'll trade you for furniture. I already put those with your other stuff too. Hehe, <laughs> I just got a few tricks up my sleeves. Once again, thank you so much for your everything. For everything. You helped us make a wonderful new memory. You know, this was so fun. Would you be interested in helping us out again tomorrow? We have the studio space rented for the entire month. Just think of all the different themes we could try. Well, no pressure, darling, but I do hope you'll reconsider it. Or, you'll, we will consider it. I kind of don't want to, but, I mean... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, that was a excursion. Or maybe I should have at least talked to Cyrus to see what he's got to sell. One second. I don't need you to tell me about this because it's all a lie. It's only for this event. So don't tell me about this. I haven't been on Animal Crossing for a long while either. Not quite that long, but I'll definitely be willing to have you guys come over. Oh, but they're gone. I had to talk to... Never mind. Who cares about Cyrus? <laughs> but I'm glad to see I can do that event anymore. Oh, Julian moved. Oh, okay. That's cool. How long did you have him for? That sounds... Crazy that he's already left. I don't have people ask me to leave ever. Well, actually, never mind. I guess that makes sense. Uh, I don't really time travel ever, so like, I only get like an opportunity on very rare occasions. For two months. Oh, that's nice. Good boy, Julian.
Now let me just check my flowers and make sure everything is as it needs to be. And then I'll open my gates for y'all to come by. What are my, my pockets? Are, oh my gosh, 11 heart crystals. I don't like that. I don't think I'm ever going to use them. I don't think Lyman's awake at this type of hour, so I can't tell you quite yet. He would have been asleep for a long time. But he's been doing fine on the days that I did play back a while back. And I've given him a lot of outfits. I've also given Igly some good outfits too. I've given everyone some good outfits. I can sell these white mums. I do not want white mums. Alright, have a good one, Michael McCall. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Uh, have a good night and a party in your dreams. I'm probably almost done with my stream as well, but... What else? I have some stuff over here, right? Yeah. I also need to pick up that beehive. The wasp nest. Look at all these, like, yellow lilies. I just don't know anything to do with it. I do love orange hyacinths, because those get me the purple hyacinths, and I need more purple hyacinths for my hyacinth display. Because I, I, freak, I love hyacinths. They're fantastic. IRL or in-game, they're, like, one of the best flowers. Now, my favorite flower of all time would have to be lavender. Lavender is just great. But over here... Oh, oops. Let me add that. Oh, I have red hyacinths I have grown. I'm just playing all my... Hey, by the way, speaking of Pride Month, I guess I have like a full-blown rainbow going on here. I have extra blue right here. This is supposed to be purple, and I'm going to have like some more white up here. Do I have... Why on me? No. But I need to make more purple first, and uh... One, two more purple are needed. One more white is needed. I'm getting close to having that. Do I have a lot of extra... I mean, I'm gonna get... How many of the pink mums do you need? I have a total of... Eight pink mums. I, I've destroyed every other pink mom on my island other than those eight that you see over there. Let me get rid of these. Get rid of that. I don't need red hyacinth. Oh, a black lily? I didn't realize I'd pick that up. Oops. I don't need orange wood flower. Nor this. Softer lamp. Neato. Oops, I didn't want to pick that up. I hate I hate messing with this thing. I got where I needed to. It might have been a scorpion. I am very blind sometimes. On regards of where oh wait a second. Speaking of things. No. I thought I saw a flower here that had grown, but no, not quite. I don't see any scorpions. But I might have despawned by now, I don't know. I'm just gonna sell these. I don't wanna sell those, though. Those are really good. I can sell the soft serve lamp, the flea. Wedding bench, I probably don't want. I'm gonna look at it first, though. Let's just sell that. Wait, actually, let me see if it's something that I can purchase before I do that type of thing. Oh, nice! Good job! Did someone come over and water your flowers? Uh, with a golden watering can? Or do you have a golden watering can? Uh, 
through shady means. Um, what are I going to do? Search things up. That's probably good enough, actually. Yeah, it's not for sale, so I'm, I'm going to actually have to keep this. They gave, they gave you one? Alright. That makes sense. Uh, speaking of that, I need to go water my roses. Which are not over where I used to have them. They're up higher. Those are like my only black roses. I don't remember how to get black roses, so I know black plus yellow gets like a good color. Like if, I don't know if it was like purple or something, so that's why those are next to each other. But I need more black roses, and that'll happen in due time whenever I actually look that up. I, I'm acting like I'm gonna be playing more of this game. I don't want to play more of this game. <laughs> I do have five star, thanks to my lovely field of weeds down here. No, the actual true thing that put me over to five stars was I had a bunch of fish and bugs right here that I had on display because I had nowhere to put them in my storage and I didn't want to donate them until I was on stream. And that was what got me five stars. And look, at I also have gold roses. Yay. That's the gold roses I picked. I've been trying to get a second pair. But you can tell about my five star because... I got me two of the Lily of the Valley down there. These bad boys. I didn't get them immediately because I went from like, I got the five star and I immediately lowered myself to like four or three star. Only to realize, it was probably four star. It's actually really hard to lower yourself down all the way to three star. But um, yeah. Then since I wasn't five star overnight, I never got the next morning, uh, batch of Lily of the Valleys. Ignore my bugs for uh, whatever the dude's name is that makes statues. Can't remember. <laughs> but I have a lot of them making like several different uh, statues of Goliath beetles. Two of them over here. I got M Mantis, Orchid Mantis, Rainbow Stag, and Scorpion all ready to be made into statues. Yeah, tomorrow is the bug off and I don't know if I'm going to be into that. But hey, look right here. This is where I hide my gold roses because I hate gold roses. They wouldn't bother me so much if their stems and leaves were green, but the fact that the entirety of everything about them is gold, it bothers me. So I'm going to get one more set of gold roses, put them in this spot where I'm standing, and be done with gold roses for the rest of my life. Any other flowers around this area? No, no. I get black lilies. I can put them up here. So let's, let's grab this real fast. Hmm. I'm gonna put it right here. Also, yes, Flick. By the way, I'm just reading that now. Yes, Flick is the name I was looking for. <laughs> I. Completely forgot that name because I never see that that fella always eludes me never shows up okay, Let me put all the stuff I want to store down here This flower can go right here because I need to find a spot for orange rose that's a good that's a good rose Maybe I can put it right here and maybe Orange plus yellow would be good, some, something good, something, I don't know. It's worth a try. I'm gonna sell these two, I can pick up my materials, and open my gates for a brief amount of time before I get off the tonight's stream. Actually, I can just open my gates right now. It's a 
ready for 17. Wow, we. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to fly. I don't want to fly. It was just. It was a joke. Wilbur. Or Over. Or Wilbur's the better one. Orville. That was a joke. <laughs> I didn't want to fly. I want to have visitors. Catching sharks. Hell yeah. That's that's money. Uh, via online play. Roger. All my friends. I don't know if I'll be getting on today. I think I have things that are going to be done, needing to get done. Next time I stream... Man, I feel, I'm so sorry that my uh, Zelda stream was what it was today. Next time I'm going to stream, it's going to be... Sute Hakun. Uh, maybe I can do like the double stream of like Sute Hakun and uh, Mega Man Zero, and then I'm definitely gonna go back to get in more action on that Majora's Mask because that was something. <laughs> yeah, that happens to one of my friends too, where they get like the notification like at really weird, at really weird times. But next time I play Majora's Mask, it's gonna be like speed run for a, a, like just getting myself back to where I need to be. Oof. I'm probably going to do that off stream. Get where to why I was, and uh, start my stream where I, I ought to be at. Honestly, I'm probably gonna get to where I was, re do the save, and then. Uh, from that point on, I'm going to get back to where I need to be and start my stream right there. It is almost 420. You're right. We got a good 30 seconds. 34 seconds. I feel like my order is slightly off. I don't remember how I did this. Move these down. Put my stone related things over here. My weeds and sticks on the lower side. I guess I could put these somewhere. Who knows where? And that's most of my uh my chores done today finally. I, my Switch is now free for me to actually play again. Gosh dang. I was so hung up on this game and I hate it. If you want to, sure. Go ahead and dig... Oh my gosh, this is gross. Go ahead and dig up those stumps. Uh, except... No, yeah, dig them all up. <laughs> I was about to be like... So, for a while, I have like... My four... Money trees right over here. I'd have a... Uh, one like that just started today, one from yesterday, the one from two days ago, and the fully grown one, like all in sequence. And like I would chop down the fully grown one and then plant a new one where that one was. So this is kind of like my weird uh, money tree area and I need to find a better spot for it. But now that I have like no more trees here, I think it looks lovely. Also. I don't think I ever mentioned how much time and effort I put into my fountain zone. I 
didn't put too much time, but I made it look as best as I could. <laughs> oh, more blue. I didn't even realize those. I think those are blue. It's hard to tell. Those are blue. Oh, dang it. I was like, are those purple? But I don't think blue and blue. I think it specifically has to be... Uh orange that makes the purples plus oranges is a great color so I want to get as many oranges as I can of any flower let me start stacking these this is looking gross in my inventory <laughs> the sweet path I swear to goodness, it looked good. It, you, it it did look good. I will give you that. But now it's just overgrown and overtaken, and oof. Is anyone awake? I mean, I guess Rex is awake because he can't sleep when he has boxes. If anyone wants Rex, he's available today. I can't take that. That's right. I wonder who's going to naturally fill in Rex's place. I might have to play this game tomorrow. Oh, look at my boys over there, by the way. I got my catfish, my ribbon eel, and my loach. Just taking a look at my town now, I guess. That's the point of the stream where I'm like, I have nothing else to do. I have visitors over. You have free roam. Do whatever you want to in here. I don't even mind. Uh... And, uh, I'm not a good tour guide, so I wish I could, like, give you a better view of my town, but I really don't have that skill. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, tomorrow I almost would like to get on, but I don't think I will. Again, I don't know if I get the opportunity, but if I do, I'd like to get on for a very brief amount of time to see what I can find on a different island. I don't have anyone in mind that I want on my island, but like when I go island hopping, I can see who shows up. Just for the fun of that, you know? Right now, I guess I'm just like looking for any spare twigs on the ground. I think I cleaned up most of them, but I also think I left some around. Also, Rifleman, if you need any fossils and you want to dig up some of the fossils that I have around my town, go for it. That's there, there by any means anyone who wants those right now. I'm not in the mood to... I haven't gotten all the fossils yet, but I'm not in the mood to dig those up today. Got all my twigs from the top most layers and the middle layer, so I just have to check the ground floor. You already got all the fossils? Alright, alright. I feel like all my friends already have all the fossils too. And like one of my friends has like stopped entirely uh, doing the fossil shenanigans. He doesn't assess them anymore. I'm like, but there's a Nook Mile thing for fossils. Where is it? Fossil assessment. You need to assess like a bajillion amount of fossils, probably like a thousand by the last one. And uh, even when I'm done with fossils, I'm still going to use fossils as a money source just so that I can keep uh, assessing them. Some sort of reason to assess my fossils and uh, get that Nook Mile reward. Twigs. There's lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of weeds. And, gosh dang, there's holes all over the place. I think I got most of my twigs. I thought I left a whole lot more than just this.
Well, I'm mostly satisfied on the twig search. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right. What was this? I can't even see what it's called. Stonewall. That's for my other account. Formal paper, that's also for my other account. Eggly sent me something. If you really want to max out your games, you gotta change it up. And I mean both the workouts and the scenery. So, here's something to help you with the scenery. Just like that. You're halfway there. You're muscle guru. Eggly. So a lot of my residents have given me really cool letters, and I don't remember what. Like, let's see what Ken has to say. Check this out, Lollipop. I was sitting down enjoying a cold pear juice when I suddenly thought of you. Weird, huh? Were you drinking some pear juice at the same time? I just had to know, so I wrote this. I wrote you this letter. Curiously, Ken. Rex, what was one of your last letters, Rex? Lol's Lol is the letter writer. I like writing letters because it makes me think about how... My grandma wrote letters before people quit writing letters. Write a letter, Lols Lols. Be like my grandma. She smelled good, Rex. Yes, cones. I needed these. Yo, Lols Lols. Check it out, the other day I ran a triathlon and won a gold medal, but when I stepped on the award podium, I tripped, and then I woke up. Turns out I was only dreaming. Buds. Igly. I don't know, say anything interesting? I don't think so, not of recent. Rank S. It's not, I'll go show you what I mean when I say it's not worth the S ranking. I have problems, Lollipop. Yesterday I was thinking about ways I could boost my pop star profile, but I couldn't come up with anything. I mean, practicing, dancing, learning to sing, whatever. None of it makes me famous now. Soon to be famous, Felicity. Hey, a laptop, that's actually some money. Thank you for that. Pant. Oh yes, I, I was at was my friend's place and made him send me the pants. Some pants that I needed. What? What is this? Black brick wall? That's for, oh, that's right! I do need to go into my house. So this is a black rain pants. I have, like, I think black of every other bit of the rain uh, stuff. Except for the pants. I have the hat, I have the... Oh, that's right! Guys, I have a wand now. Surgery deck, how are you when I have company? Oh, look at all those posters of, uh, more of Joel's crew. So here's where I... I guess I can't really place this down because there's no room for that. This is where I put all my resources because I can't fit them in my storage. I can only really place so much. Here's a additional fly because gosh dang if I didn't catch one if I caught one I was gonna make sure to catch the second one just to keep as a hostage. I'll put him in jail whenever I actually free up my jail zone. But again also look at uh there's also Patty and Dina included on this list, uh of Joel, uh, Animal Crossing villagers. This thing, Mossy Garden Wall, I'll take that. Can I put that on right now? Yes, that's what I want. This is now Super Weed Central, I love it. I love this wall so much. And this room is the room that got me S rank. I don't have room for like anything in my storage, so it all ends up in here. My favorite thing is my desk. That's that's a that's an office set up right there. You got your office chair, your 
office desk and the best uh the best electronic around i guess <laughs> anyway i have finally paid off my loan gosh dang do not play this game and only play it on stream or only upgrade your house on stream or any of that stuff because gosh dang um the worst thing is not being or being able to being not able to upgrade your house and uh, let's look at my storage how much storage do i have i have 300 oh i can put one thing away i can put one thing in my storage let's do it we did it boys I put one thing in my storage Look at this. It's nice, but I, I don't need that. That's what I need. That's so good. Uh, place right there. Push you down. That's it. Okay, I'm fixing my place. It's back to normal. Except I no longer have this around, but there's a reason why I don't have that around. Oop. I guess I can't really do this yet. Let's go to... I don't have room in here to do this either. Gosh dang it. I have, like, multiple places to... Cha no, I can, I can do it right here. A freezer. Should I change? Let's edit my wand outfits. Company. Okay, well, what I'm about to do at some point is... My torn pants, my patchwork coat, and my paper bag are going to be an outfit. Finally. My other outfits aren't anything really to express too much. I like this one. I love this mask a lot. The privacy mask or whatever it's called. It's fantastic, so it went along with my worker outfit. Rain. I'm missing the pants. I'm missing the pants. I, I think those the, what I have is rain pants, maybe? But it's not, not the right color I need. I like how I'm just doing this... Uh, in this awful room. Let's, let's go elsewhere. This is a much better room. Hunter-gatherer. This is all, like, handcrafted stuff, except for the sandals, because you can't really craft sand. There's, like, some weird effect on the floor. This is, like, making me almost dizzy, the way I'm, like, the perspective is so weird. What's happening? Whoa. That's weird. Uh, there's no way to make sandals. The only, like, thing that you can make for uh, shoe or other footwear is, uh, that I know of, aside from, like, armor, is the recycled boots, and that just doesn't really match the hunter-gatherer kind of tribal look I'm going for. Honk shoe because that's what uh what's his face oh gosh this is freaking trippy doing this twirl around uh Gulliver says whenever he shows up and he's like honk shoe I'm like okay that's that's sleeping now so I will forever make the sleeping noise as part of my uh, outfits gets full just in case if I want to go exercise I have a tank top some nice shorts some basketball shoes a nice hat uh. I'm ready to go to my gym that I created. It's pretty nice. Cafe, because I don't know what else to do with some of the stuff. I really like having this glass is being used because it's fantastic. But also, I really like the hat and the apron. So I, I kind of made this an outfit just because it... Putting this stuff in here is really nice because that's no longer in my storage. So it frees up some space. That's why I did this. Like, 
as much as I could, except for one, which, again, I'm going to create that in front of you guys. I'm going to need to get some more recycled boots for that one. And WC99. We're playing RuneScape today, boys. This is, this is uh, RuneScape today, boys. Got my party hat, got my my iron armor, uh, probably some clue scrolls in my backpack. It's fantastic. It's it's my it's my jam. This is actually how I go chopping down trees in this game, honestly. What do I place down? I have to do a juggling act. Let me uh can't place that down. Sticks can go right here. What did I want to grab? Oh yes, clothing. I think I have multiple, yes, I do have multiple recycled boots. They're right here. storage. And we're good. Uh, I guess I can kind of take a small gander on my other house, too, from my other account. I also haven't really been playing too much of that because I've been mostly playing on main account. I think I'm going to just stay indoors where it's safe. Oh, ooh, ooh, hey, 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 wait a second. The good song's playing. KK Fair. KK Fair gives me enough motivation to get outside. But. Nice, great, white. Awesome. But I do have the social distance, so let me put on my mask. Now I'm good. How's it going? Knock, knock. Is anyone home? Probably not. This is the house that actually has, like, real rooms that I'm trying to do something with. Yeah, I don't know. It's pretty elegant. Um, nothing really spectacular about this room. This room has, like, I guess, the food zone. <laughs> It's got like the, I forget what it's called, but this type of hearth in the center. And some tea being made. Good. Let's actually turn on the stove. There it is. There it is. And then, I was just thinking about how hot that would room would be with a stove and that uh, cooking hearth over there. And I was like, you know what? I should make a sauna. So I did. And it's not exactly the best, but... I'm gonna find something to put like in the center or something. I don't know what I need to do with this. Also, there's an exit sign. Hey, it this house I haven't really I haven't played on this account too much, so I haven't really gotten too much done. Also, the best thing ever is this table. I love this table. Let me push this. I can't. Um, this table is fantastic. That's because this isn't my house. That's why I can't push it. Uh, then. I think it's like imperial dining or table i forget what it's called but uh i got the black and red one which was nice but it wasn't this nice so i traded it to a friend who had this version and gave him the black and red one because gosh dang does that wood color look fantastic hello hello also, oh, <laughs> aw, that's cute. Did you mean to do that? Whoa. Just dump everything. Good, awesome. Appreciate that. My waters need more action. Also, I hate my eyeballs. Now that I'm actually on stream, I can go change that again. <laughs> Thank you for littering fish into my waters. I really appreciate that, honestly. I really do. 
I'm sorry, I, I just kind of left you. I just want to change my eyeballs really fast. The best eyeballs are really, like, without a doubt, these ones. So I'm, I'm back. I'm back, boy. -boy. I'm back, boys. I'm back, boy. -boy. <laughs> Be free, fishes. Be free. Actually gonna go visit this boy. Might as well since I ate. Oh, I forgot to bring the the, the tissues. Dang it! But it's all right. Oh. I mean, whenever I make a new room, I can't do it in my house. I might have to make it another room in my other house where uh, I have a room kind of dedicated to him with the pair uh, beds and pair other furniture. I like how he had like a dirt flooring. A good that is that's my man. Oh, he's really proud. This is my man right here. My man. He was really cool. I'm going to miss him, but I also I'm glad that he, he wanted to move, like, really early on. And I said no. And I'm like, you know what? You can't do that until I at least have ten people in my town. And now that he's asked again, absolutely. Best of luck to you. Thanks for listening to me. Listening to me talk about moving. I'm all packed up and ready to go, but I've been waiting for you. On TV, nobody says goodbye. Well, unless it's a real sad movie. No, what TV folks do is they smile and they say... I'll see you later. So that's why... Lollipop. I'll see you later. That's cute. Mile plus, by the way. Thanks for being awake. I'm still sad that... This Goliath beetle never got to him before he decided to move. I'm gonna play something right here at some point, so that's the reason why I'm removing these, but I'm gonna, that, the only problem is I'm gonna have to find a new spot for my white azaleas. Oh, gosh dang, for the longest time, <laughs> I had a mandolin and a recycled thumb can piano something or another uh, on top of these, and I was hoping to show that off next time I stream, but sadly, I have removed them since. Those things actually disabled and made my thing is go out of order because if you tried to access the <laughs> oh no wait did you take any i know you're saying it's all right but you could have taken some of my uh pink mums i those things are like a freaking virus they spread like none other but anyway thanks for stopping by i appreciate you stopping by hope you enjoyed it is uh my island is what it is at this point I don't know. I feel really happy about like some of the residential area of my town. But again, like if you put an instrument on top of here. Oh, don't drop, don't drop. Oh, I can't place that on top of something? Oh. Well I don't really have a way to showcase it then. Actually I do. Somewhere. I have like so many Animal Crossing stuff just all around. Oh, this is disgusting. I have lots of pictures of Ken because he's the best. Look at that. You can't use, you can't get snacks. You can only play the, 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 what is that? The ukulele. <laughs> and boy is he going at it 
I love it. It's like my favorite. <laughs> so I disabled those uh, for a long time, but I guess I forgot I had actually removed that. And my snack and drink machine are back and in tip top order. They are working functionally yet again. Oh, wait a second, wait a second. Oh, it's, by the way, it's almost five o'clock, no one's awake. Yeah, if Sylvia's asleep, then no one's awake, okay. I'm gonna go change one more outfit, which I guess the nearest spot is right here. Oh man, I'm gonna have to redecorate. Oh yeah, yeah. I have to redecorate around uh, the the rec zone. I loved having him have a, a little rocket ship and a spring horse ride thingy. Also, by the way, Julian never left, boys. He's been here all along. <laughs> Just shh, 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 shh. Oh, oh, by the way, Rhonda. I have a new new villager named Rhonda. Do I have any evidence of Rhonda? Of Rhonda. I don't think I've recorded anything with her. She's a rhinoceros. And whenever I, I got her, like, shortly after, like, my last stream of this. And so I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm not going to talk to her until I'm able to talk to her on stream. And then I realized I wasn't going to be streaming anytime soon. So I was like, okay. I guess we could be friends. <laughs> Sorry for holding out on you. Oh, there, there she is. So I told her to move. She was the first. I went. Th after Julian left, this was the person who filled in Julian's spot, clearly. Um, I went island hopping, and I was like, I'm gonna go until I find someone I like. This was the first person I found. I was like, it's an Animal Crossing villager. I like you. So I, I brought her. She, she came with me. I guess that's the only video footage I have of Rhonda. But hey, she's around now. She's another normal type. So now I have Fauna, Daisy, and Rhonda as all like normal type villagers. So I don't, I don't know. Whenever I move in Nate, someone, one of them I was probably gonna have to go. I did some wand outfits. Oh, I can't do that inside someone else's house. I was where I needed to be, but I ran away because I was talking about normal villagers and needing to switch it up. I'm not going back in my house. My house is gross. So down here we go. Also, it's no longer like storming. It's still raining pretty steadily, but the storm is no longer as present. There's still more summer shells. I've already crafted all the summer items. Oh, don't, I don't want to get changed. Stop it. Let's see. Let's create a new outfit. Oh, there's a patchwork. Perfect. That's it. Is there anything else I can put on? Like, I guess I could put some socks on. I know exactly which socks to go with this, too. But I don't have them on hand. And the weed backpack. Perfect. That'll do what I'll do for right now. Excellent. 
So now I finally have a good outfit. Um, I have all my outfit. That that gives me one more free store. Well, I guess I already pulled out the, the shoes a while ago, so that doesn't really give me too much more free storage. But if I had had all of those in my storage, that would be that much more storage space. It's fantastic. But lastly, there is one more thing I want to go. I do have socks in mind for this. I also want socks just to be on the floor because that looks gross for my weed hut. But these socks right here, the weed socks, they're pretty perfect. It's hard to grab stuff, so I'm, that's why I'm moving it to a like specific location so I don't accidentally grab something else. I didn't mean to actually walk out my house. Let me in. grab these real fast. That's good. We did it, boys. We grabbed the stuff. And finally, let's edit my outfit to include socks. And that's not how you do it. Um, I feel like that is the best item. Let's swap clothes. Mixed tweed. It even has the word weed in there. Socks. Absolutely. So I already got the top taken care of. I got the pants. I got a hat that also constitutes for the accessories. I have the socks, the shoes, and the, the weed bag. So I'm, I, I love it. This is good. Let me see if I can actually fit. I did this because I didn't think I would be able to actually fit the whole word. That allows you for a lot of characters. I'm, I'm happy about that. And perfect. Now I got the full outfit working as it intended. Is there any good bag to go with this? I might do that one. Cloth shoulder bag looks really nice though. I like it. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna keep that. That's it. I'm thrilled. Perfect. Excellent. I love it. Oh, actually I wanna go right back in that, that room real fast. see when I am on storage. 320 out of 320. Uh, is there anything I want to sell in here? I can't wait till I get more room so I can start using like the rustic stone and the stone wall and like have more uh, I'm going to probably take out the white honeycomb tile. I don't think I want that. Nor do I want the old wallpaper. I have a lot more other dungeon-y uh, type of wallpapers. I don't need that one anymore. So now that I have those two free spaces, I can finally put these in storage. Gosh dang, I, I didn't get like any shooting stars because I never looked for it whenever I was playing on stream. But off stream, I got enough. Way down, way down. I need to still work on this type of thing. 65, I'll work on that a different day. Which has come through. Yeah, 6-12. June 12th is when I got the full 200. But, uh... My first time doing the Shooting Star was on May 25th. My second time having Shooting Stars is probably on June 9th, because that's when I probably got all the way up to 30. And then my third time was June... Uh, 12th, whenever I was like, all right, I'm just going to stay here and get all 200. Not that you get like 200 star fragments uh, if you do it all in one day, but 
I just, I, again, I really like doing the, that type of thing. Getting the Nook Mile stuff. You need to find two spots for the two azaleas. Let me see something really fast. Do you still accept gifts? You probably don't. You're probably just gonna have to sell this. Oh. He's gonna have an adventure. Well, I'm glad that at least I left that bug outside your your window. Probably whispered stuff to you. I hope you enjoyed your stay here. It's something else, but I, I'm trying to make the best of it. Someone maybe. Come on, up. I can't clean it up right now. Oh, don't place it on top of there, no. Just need to throw back containers and some other random junk. Metal can is good, but uh, I really wanted to use cone. And that's a nice color of cone. I need to go sell some stuff and place some stuff down. So the throwback container, cone needs to go down, but I can't yet. I sell the pink wind flowers. Laptop. I haven't looked at that yet. Oh, it's a nice red laptop. I like it. I'll just keep this with me for the time being. I will find a spot for it eventually, probably. I like it. Thank you, by the way. I appreciate that. I want to do anything with the middle. I, I'll just throw it away right now. My head and comb can go black, brown, and old wallpaper can get out of here. Oh, that's the end of the day. He's gone, boys. He's gone, boys. My boy. He's asleep. Is it 5 a.m. whenever it starts a new day? Is it gonna go black out on me? Oh, probably won't with uh, my gate open. I was so confused for a second there. But let's use this as an opportunity, honestly. So, uh, sell these tree branches because I don't have room for that. Oop, top. Not, not where I wanted you. I usually just use extra tree branches in order to make like, like over on the right uh, side of my town where all my fishing rods are. That's that's what I usually do with them, just so I don't have an excess of materials for no reason. Do I need a place for a bush over here? I could probably put bushes behind. Wait a second. Pull, pull. Pull this all the way down. Two, three, four, five. Perfect. Is that gonna be good? Is there no other? Yeah, I think that's the best place that I can so far. Yeah, now I got rid of my my bushes. I have a new place for them. I like it. Pearl 
perfect. Jump, please. No, no. Jump. Jumping across these is not as easy as it looks. It's kind of weird. Throw container and plasma ball can be sold. I got a big zone of like, please do not enter the radioactive zone. We already, it already caused enough problems with Mr. Godzilla over here. thousand Nook Mile tickets, so let's go. So I don't even have to stream later today. Uh, I will get some Nook Mile tickets and... Why am I taking here? I'm gonna sell that. I'm going to go look for that villager today. We'll see what we get. Uh, redeem Nook Miles. Is there anything else in here? I need to put some of this stuff away if I can find a spot for it. Which I will! I will! Okay, this is gonna be perfect. This is the stream is working out pretty nicely. everything for today so actually I need to put away my 63,000 bells I'm gonna put away 99,000 and keep the 63 on me well on my way to paying off my next house. So let's close the gate and start the new day. And see who we get. streaming for like five hours. I started streaming at midnight. I guess that makes sense. screen. Take a sip of whatever drips left I have of milk. Oh man, it's, I, it tastes like milk, but again, it still has a little bit of that uh, whiskey in there. Scotch. But I can definitely get a whiff of that scotch whenever I lift a cup up to my face. Good morning, everyone. Right now on Get Me Out, it's 5.06 a.m. on Saturday, June 27th, 2020. How's this for exciting news? Get Me Out is hosting its very first bug off. The tourney will run from 9 to 6. Anyone can participate. Just check in at the tent in the plaza. That's all for now. I hope 
you all enjoy the loveliest of lovely days. Oh, the rain has stopped. Gosh dang, I had to look for more flowers now. I'm just going to take a gander. I'm not going to do anything with my flowers, but I'm going to look and see what new things we have. Hello? Got some money. I usually get a lot more money than that, but I, of course, have not been on for a long while. I sell... Oh, hey. Nice. We're getting somewhere. I usually sell a lot of... Oh, Lyman! What kind of workout routine is your house doing? Are you pouring protein steaks and deciding? Because I can't believe how small your place is getting. It's a little house warm-up gift. Built like a house, Lyman. Awesome. I also got something from Happy Open. Okay, let me get out of here. What did Lyman give me? Exercise bike. I gave you one of these. Hopefully you still have it. I appreciate it, but I'm going to sell it. <laughs> Punching bag, hey. Also have one of these. Both of these are in my gym right now. Two days ago, I forgot. I got more flowers there. I got purples! Those are my first purples of uh, pansies, I believe. And what is over here? More purples! Excellent. I said I wasn't actually going to mess with them. I mean, I got excited about the purple, so shh, don't worry about it. Got some pink lilies, some more blue hyacinths, which I will move because they're just going to go directly to the left of right here. How about my purples down here? Created pink mums. I can never escape the pink mums. Fully. I should have read that. Tulip surprise box. That sounds awesome. Oh, actually, I think I know what that is. Let me see. Yeah. I do like that. Oh, well, I think I should have enough to get... I think I have five red tulips around somewhere. Yeah, this is not taken yet, but oof. That empty spot... Oof. At least it shows cases my uh, beautiful porta potty a little bit better. Also, make sure to wash your hands for more than just two seconds. It has to be twenty seconds. So don't don't do what I just did right here in this video game. More purples. Purples also get moved really close by in this location, so I'm going to take these purples and move them where they belong. This is where I used to keep all my pink mums, but uh, eventually, again, I moved them. I quarantined them on the beach, and now I used it to make purple roses because I have not seen any purple roses. Now I'm getting a decent amount of them because I had so many white roses. I don't know what blue and... Is there like purple windflowers? I think that's what I'm trying to get. So I have the blue and uh, red windflowers like that. Just so I can try to get some of that action. But I have not had any luck yet. More orange lilies. That's actually really good. Gosh dang, I'm doing more flower tending. I, this game... I just love me flowers. I just love me some flowers. But I actually have spots for the orange lilies, so... They're getting put into action immediately. More purples. Purple uh, mums, hell yeah. Ooh, black uh, tulips. Might have use for that somewhere, maybe? The reason why I had this black 
uh, lily right here was because I knew I was going to put a yellow or orange lily in this spot, so that's why I decided the strategic location of this one right there. And then finally, uh, another orange can go right here where it can be next to these two. I don't know what those two combination meant, why I'm putting those next to each other, but it's probably something. I wonder what that is. I wonder if that's going to be like white hyacinths. I don't know. I do have a spot for... I'm going to have to break this then. I do have a spot for my uh, black tulips. Good. More orange uh, roses. That's nice. Anything down there with the uh, windflowers? No? More yellow lilies. That's understandable. Anything here? I feel like I'm trying to get something here. No, nothing. Well, I mean, I got more whites. For sure. It has to be white, right? And there that is. Don't know what those other colors are, but they're not purple. flowers on this side of the island. Oh my gosh, weeds. More hyacinths are growing over here. Something's growing right there. Or I think that, yeah, orange roses. Need to smash this rock as well. This rock is in the way. Rocks are going to find it a lot better to grow over here uh, as soon as I clear up a little bit of the weeds. I might leave weeds to grow on the west side of town and leave this side of town, uh, or of the island, kind of unscathed. But I do want to have my weed path across. But then again, the day I decide to not play this game, oh, more black tulips, is going to be the day that uh, <laughs> things happen like this. This is like the, the work of... Like, again, like a line of weeds just going diagonally over here. And one more line of weeds going diagonally on this side. And uh, about not playing for one and a half weeks does this to to the weed zone. That's what happens. You better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. It's awful. It's something. It's fun. I don't know what to do with those pink tulips. That's why those are there, but... Whatever. Well, that's my flower situation. Good. Good, good. I'm going to sell my blue pansies. I thought I had purple, but I guess I was wrong. They're both blue. Um, Put two days ago somewhere. Sell those. Storage that. And I'm good. Then I can go island hopping and look for who's going to be my first option. Let's use this. Is Let's look at my new room. I got a new room. There's a tent. I'm not going to do the bug off thing. I'm sorry. I mean, I, I might do it off stream, but I don't think I'm going to do it on stream because I am getting ready to go to bed soon. The sun is probably coming up at some point. I don't know. I'm looking outside, but or not outside, but I'm looking towards where a window is. And uh, I don't see the light shining in super amount yet, but I see a little bit. So uh, the sun's coming up. You got yourself probably a sunrise right now. It's probably cool. Persona. That is, by the way, a good Persona outfit. I need to play the game one day. One day. <sighs> this is gonna be gonna be a problem.
I'll fix this up off stream. It's sad. It's sad. love this one. I don't know what to do with it, but it's real nice. It's also pretty good flooring. The crop circle one. I'm just gonna have to do steel right now. Let me see what it's like horizontally. I think I like that a little bit better. That'll do. Also, you know what? I'm about to. I'm getting close to the time where I can start getting a basement. I think that's where the real meth lab's gonna be. So I'm gonna move this out of the way. And uh, soon, soon I'll get things realized. As soon as I get a basement. I wonder what comes first, like an upstairs or a basement. I hope the basement, but I don't remember. Also, get ready for this. This is going to be amazing. It's going to be... Uh, get ready. It's going to be so thrilling. Cleaning your room was that easy. Perfect. Room cleaned. I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet. Um, something will happen, but right now it is what it is. I'll fix it. It'll be cool one day. I do like this room a lot, though. So far, I like what I've done with this. This is good. Let's go hunting. Uh, with one ticket, I'm going to find my next person on my island unless that they're really something I don't want if it if, it, if I get Rizo then no 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 Abisumaru mouse in my town yeah I'm good I'm set let's go Fly. Oh, Orville always noticing that something in my pocket. Yes, I do. Let's go. Wilbur. Yeah. Who you think we're gonna get? Who you think we're gonna get? I have no idea. But it's gonna be a good. It's gonna be a good fella. That's all I can tell you. All right. Get some trees and chop some bees. Who's this? Oh. 
Leonardo. Hey there, awesome to meet you. My name's Leonardo. What about you? Where are you from? So I'm, I'm replacing Big Cat with other Big Cat. Okay. Laws Laws, eh? And you're from Get Me Out? Cool name from a strong sounding place. So, have you ever gone on a solo kayak tour that suddenly turned into a super exciting survival tour? Because I have. It's so much fun out here, flexing. Oh boy, oh boy. Are you a jock? Are you a jock? Are you, am I having a jock? Oh, I didn't mean to pull that out, sorry. No, I'm not trying to flex on you guys. Leonardo. Animal Crossing. Jock personality. I mean, I'm not going to not accept you. I already did that to Bubbles, and I will forever regret it, so come on. You know, as much as I want to stay here and train, I can only build so much muscle by gathering stuff. Oh, it would really be cool if I could g live near someone that inspires me to be big on Boken Up. Someone like you. Your triceps are just astonishing, Flexin. Flexin. Come train on my island. I got a, I got a gym. Train with you and your glorious triceps? I can't turn that down. Get me out. Here I come. Just you wait. We're totally gonna push each other to muscular new weights, flexing. We'll be sworn rivals of swoldom and best buds and buffness. It's gonna be mega epic, just like us. Wow, yes. <laughs> It'll be a blast. You ever seen a 30 pack abs? Neither have I. But we're gonna flexin'. Alright, I'm just gonna bug Tom Nook and to put the ball in play. Thanks for the first round draft pick. So yeah, that's exciting. I guess my town name is Swoleville, so... I guess it makes sense. Let me pull out a net really fast. Looking for... Come on, squeeze through. There it is. Wherever the bee's nest is. Can I squeeze through here? No, that's not this island. Whenever I come to resource places, I, I resource like none other. Okay, in order... Get, 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 get over here. No entry. No entry. No entry. Good. Now I can smack this rock in peace. We don't want to have another daisy on our hands. You can't go to an island and not smack the rock because you need to hope for some gold. Gold is important. again and look again through these trees looking for lost. Oop. I was like considering getting that rainbow stag because I can read about it uh, from blathers. I'm like nah whatever I don't need to do this. I am trying to end my stream. Never considering drum beetle though. I'm not used to them actually landing on top of me like that, so that's the only reason why I ran. I'm like, wait a second. It's a little awkward right now. Actually, I cannot pull that out yet. Um, smacking trees with an axe will reveal a wasp nest if there is a wasp in that tree. But you know what it won't reveal? It will not reveal uh, any special hidden goodies, which I guess will be on my second tier up here somewhere. Maybe. 
other side? I don't know, I don't see any possible trees. Also, I like to take every single fruit because I need to still get pick of the bunch. I think is what it's called. Pick of the bunch. Yeah, I'm about 700 away, so I'm getting close, but I need to sell a lot of fruit. And this right over here, this is the tree, isn't it? No, it's this one. There it is. What do I got? Tool shelf, I like it. Now, real fast, I'm gonna go chop, or smack rock. start chopping around some trees. I don't need to worry about wasp or... So again, like, smacking a tree with an axe will reveal the wasp, so you gotta be careful, but if you chop down a tree that was supposed to have a item in it, using your axe in, like, previous games, at least uh, in Animal Crossing New Leaf, would uh, reveal that, hey, wait a second, there's a furniture in here, and it'll just drop the furniture while you're chopping down the tree. Not in this game, though. So you do want to shake trees beforehand. I'm going to eat one of these right now. Need a second one immediately after. And get myself a stone and a stone. Take that. Wait a second, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Sorry, I'm excited about my new... It's also been a while since I've played this game, but... Much better. Now we have runescaping. Welcome to Gilanor. And I don't even need to chop down trees anymore. I'm like done with that, but uh, I'll just sell the wood, I guess. Tommy and Timmy could probably do a lot better with that than half the other junk I sell them. But uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I chopped wood a lot because I wanted to get like the Nook Mile of like rough hewn. I wanted to get all of that. And that was fairly simple. I already did that, so no big deal. And also, I love doing this display in front of uh, Leonardo over here. He's probably extremely inspired. Lots of hardwood, good. Hardwood's excellent for slingshots and for shovels. I know you can totally pull vault from that side, but I'm not willing to find the specific sweet spot, so let's go. A few more trees to chop. So I got all the selling of seashells, so I don't need to pick those up anymore. I thought I saw a shark. I had to see. It was a medium-sized fish. rock real fast. I don't need to do it over here. I can just do it right here. Did that hole. 
And we good buddies. We good boys. I always eat pears because those are my native fruit, so they sell for the least. Even uh the coconuts fetch for price a higher price. A price they're high. Next time I have like someone leave, if I ever notice, I would like to have like one of those streams where I like look for a specific Animal Crossing villager. I just hate like turning down like the other people though. Um, I, I just think it'd be exciting to like go to these islands for a purpose other than like resourcing. I have done a lot of resourcing, and I love it. I still do. Um, But it's also really cool, the concept of like looking for some other specific character because then like you get to see all the different other characters in between. I don't think I've ever heard of, I mean I may have heard of Leonardo, but I don't know of this guy, so this is a new fella. I don't think I've ever had like a, what is that, like a leopard? type of villager before. So that's complete this guy is gonna be completely 100 percent new to me. Is this the last tree right here? That's it. Pick up all the rest of the stuff. I'm glad that I went resourcing as well because that means now I have extra fruit that I don't have to take from my town. Not that I mind taking it from my town, but I would always prefer to buy it from Timmy and Tommy if anything. Uh, before breaking those one rocks that are in nuisance locations. And, uh, yeah, island has been destroyed. See you later, Leonardo. I guess I'll talk to him one more time. See if he has anything cool to say. Never go oh, in the yeah. Today was like that, Flexin. The terrain here is absolutely perfect for distance training. I take the island home with me if I could, if I could, but my arms are already kind of tired, and it, this place has already been destroyed. Oh yeah, there's nothing even on this island anymore other than flowers and tree stumps. And Leonardo, but he's he's coming anyway, separately. Look at this morning, the colors, the craziness, the weeds. Oh my! So this rock stays there. That's actually a really good spot. I'm gonna have to clean up some of this, aren't I? All this weed. Poof. Rock over here. This is the one. I won't get really too much out of this, but that's alright. off without grabbing the bush. That's the biggest fear. Mm. 
Where was the other rock? Oh, I think it was up on the second area over here. Second tier up in this spot. This is almost a good spot, but your time is up. You gotta go. Hopefully you'll find a new home in a better spot where you don't have to get destroyed. Oh, why Hyacinth screw over here? Oops. Didn't realize that. Those would be even better for placing in my Hyacinth location. I'll do that off stream. Sometime. Not right now. Because I'm tired. Also! I kind of hate this zone. I created this and it's like something. It's cool. It's cute. I don't know what you want to think of it. It's ugly. In my opinion, at least it's ugly. Uh, um, it's technically a river. You have to like kind of check like this to see if there's anything in there. Hopping around will scare the fish, even though we're like one level higher than possible than uh, the level that the fish are at. But there's no way to climb down. Like this is. This took me actually a long time to kind of like find a way to like kind of dig this hole out in the way that it is and uh, uh, it's gonna look a lot prettier in my head so that's why I even have um, waterfalls is because I it's a, it a lot prettier in my head so I'm like I gotta make this I gotta beautify this somehow that had waterfalls and it was something and I caught like my first fish after adding the waterfalls was a pond fish and maybe it existed before I was like adding the waterfall, but I'm pretty sure that would have scared it away. So, um, I don't know why it was giving me a uh, pondfish for a while and then decided to be like, oh, wait a second, we're actually a river. Yanaro's over here. Oh, man. Everyone else is asleep, I think. Slamming out in the boat. Didn't think so. I would think that he's kind of an early guy. Same with uh, Igly. I think everyone's just asleep. I want to stockpile uh, orange lilies until I can like replace all these white lilies and all these white lilies with orange lilies. So I'm glad about those orange lilies over there, but I need to get more than just that. Again, that's something that will be done off stream. I don't intend to stream this game nearly as often anymore. Uh, now that I kind of beat the game, quote unquote, big air quotes that you can't see. Um, I wish I was on at an early enough time that I can like share some of my pro my custom designs I've made this my own self um, I have acquired this and this from Hato Moa uh, the creator of Hotful Boyfriend uh, they posted their these two designs on Twitter so I, I grabbed them like almost immediately the radiation trefoil I created uh, it was not easy and it might not even look the best, but I did my best. I put in effort, and uh, it gets the job done near my bad hole. This is something I got when I was watching a Joel stream, because he also has the Evil Sisters now, and instead of uh, using that to post his cool designs, he only posted a... Uh, or he, he grabbed some of the other people's designs, which, I mean, he's got a lot of people making cool... Like, a lot of people are playing Animal Crossing. A lot of people love watching people play Animal Crossing, especially, like, cool streamers like Joel. So, people have already made a lot of designs for him, and this is one of them that he showcased on his first stream with the Able Sisters, and I, I was like, I need that boy. I need that boy. I don't really think I want to, like, share <laughs> Picnic, uh, bottom left, bottom center, bottom right, all of these, that's a bit much. Um, I don't think I'm going to share those on that kiosk, uh, but I will share... Let's back up a second. Not that. Let's 
Let's go here. I will definitely share this hat at some point. So I will probably put a something on a uh, Twitter whenever I get a chance to upload this for anyone that wants to have the help hat. It's as simple as it gets. It's a nice brown. It's got the words that are important. It doesn't get simpler than that. You could easily make it yourself, but <laughs> I'm, I've made a thing. No, no, so that would sell this and that. Sell these pears and these coconuts. Tool shelf. I gotta see if that's a cool color. I don't think that it comes in any other colors, actually, so never mind. Uh, sell iron nuggets and stones, I guess, and also clay, sure. Let's go. Let's do that. That's money. I mean, that's, that's probably painful for a lot of you guys to see, but I did, I did a thing. I got a lot better at grabbing items, so if you like press the A button and immediately move left or right or up or down or something like that, then you're going to grab rather than like pressing A like right now. That's the grab. Okay, let's press A right now. So that's a lot faster to like press A and then like immediately start moving and it knows to grab. Uh, sometimes it kind of slips underneath without like actually doing the grab, but for the most part you will get a grab as opposed to like waiting. 1,001 seconds. Which you would think it wouldn't be a problem, but it kind of does become a problem whenever you start moving stuff around a lot. Yeah, I love these, but I already have one in my storage, so that goes away. if I can get into custom designs from here, but... Oh, no, no, stop, stop, put that away. Doesn't really look like I can. Otherwise, I would totally put on my custom design right now to kind of automatically teleport my current hat into storage, but that's all. That's all for t today's stream, I think. right here by sitting on this beetle. Actually, let's sit on in the front. <sighs> Thanks for stopping by. Uh, hope you have a good one. Party in your dreams? I'm about to have a party in my dreams for a very short amount of time because it's already morning 545. Oops. Oopsie doopsie. Um, I'm glad that I finally have my Switch free of the tyranny of Rex wanting to leave and me not wanting to do that except in, until I did it on stream, so... Uh, I finally have the freedom to do what I want on my Switch again, uh, whether it be Animal Crossing or other video games that exist, because I'm going to tell you what, I'm going to tell you what, other video games do exist. I'm going to tell you what, there's there's a various amount of games that do exist, so I would like to play them, and I think I will probably be more prone to play those than Animal Crossing of recent, but I'm free. Hey, thanks for stopping by, this was kind of a longer stream than I have this, along with my failed attempt at Majora's Mask, all total up to about five and a half hours, and I was only expecting to do it like four hours tonight, but I'm glad I got a big stream. I am really happy about that. Hope y'all have a good one. Party of dreams, and see you next time.